about in Deuteronomy. These are the words which Moshe spoke to all Israel beyond the Ardin in the wilderness, in the desert plain opposite Suf, between Paran and Tophel, and Laban, and Hatzeroth, and Dizahab. Eleven days from Horeb, by way of Mount Seir, to Kadesh Barnea. And it came to be, in the fortieth year, in the eleventh month, on the first of the month, that Moshe spoke to the children of Israel according to all that Yahuwah had commanded him concerning them, after he had smitten Sihon, sovereign of the Amorites, who dwelt in Heshbon, and Og, sovereign of Bashan, who dwelt at Ashtaroth in Edre, Beyond the Yardin, in the land of Moab, Moshe undertook to declare this Torah, saying, Yahuwah our Elohim spoke to us in Horeb, saying, You have dwelt long enough at this mountain. Turn and depart on your way, and go into the mountains of the Amorites, and to all the neighboring places in the desert plain, in the mountains, and in the low country, and in the Negev, and on the sea coast, to the land of the Canaanites, and to Lebanon, as far as the great river, the river Parath. See, I have put the land before you, Go in and possess the land which Yahuwah swore to your fathers, to Abraham, to Yitzhak, and to Jacob, to give to them and their seed after them. And I spoke to you at that time, saying, I am unable to bear you by myself. Yahuwah your Elohim has increased you, and see you are today as numerous as the stars of the Shamayim. Yahuwah, Elohim of your fathers, is going to add to you a thousand times more than you are, and Barak you, as he has spoken to you. How do I bear your pressure and your burden and your strife by myself? Choose men, wise and understanding, and known to your tribes, and let me appoint them as your heads. And you answered me, and said, The word which you have spoken to us to do is good. And I took the heads of your tribe, wise men and known, and made them heads over you, leaders of thousands, and leaders of hundreds, and leaders of fifties, and leaders of tens, and officers for your tribes. And I commanded your judges at that time, saying, When hearing between your brothers, Judge righteously between a man and his brother, or the stranger who is with him. Do not show partiality and right ruling. Hear the small as well as the great. Do not be afraid of anyone's face, for the right ruling belongs to Elohim. And the case, which is too hard for you, bring it to me, and I shall hear it. And I commanded you at that time all the words which you should do. Then we departed from Horeb, and went through all that great and awesome wilderness which you saw on the way to the mountains of the Amorites, as Yahuwah our Elohim had commanded us, and we came to Kadesh Barnea. And I said to you, We have come to the mountains of the Amorites, which Yahuwah our Elohim is giving us. See, Yahuwah our Elohim has put the land before you, Go up and possess it, as Yahuwah Elohim of your fathers has spoken to you. Do not fear, nor be discouraged. And all of you came near to me, and said, Let us send men before us, and let them search out the land for us, and bring back word to us of the way by which we should go up, and of the cities into which we would come. And the matter was good in my eyes, so I took twelve of your men, and one man from each tribe. And they turned and went up into the mountains, and came to the Wadi Eskol, and spied it out. And they took some of the fruit of the land in their hands, and brought it down to us. And they brought back word to us, saying, The land which Yahuwah our Elohim is giving us is good. But you would not go up, and rebelled against the word of Yahuwah your Elohim, and grumbled in your tents, and said, Because Yahuwah was hating us, 
He has brought us out of the land of Mitzrayim to give us into the hand of the Amorites to destroy us. Where are we going to? Our brothers have made our hearts melt, saying, The people are greater and taller than we. The cities are great and walled up to the Shamaim. And we saw the sons of the Anakim there too. Then I said to you, Have no dread or fear of them. Yahuwah, your Elohim, who is going before you, he fights for you according to all he did for you in Mitzrayim before your eyes, and in the wilderness, and where you saw how Yahuwah, your Elohim, has borne you, as a man bears his son, in all the way that you went until you came to this place. Yet, in this matter, you are putting no trust in Yahuwah, your Elohim, who is going before you in the way to seek out a place for you to pitch your tents, to show you the way you should go, in fire by night and in a cloud by day. And Yahuwah heard the voice of your words, and was wroth, and took an oath, saying, Not one of these men of this evil generation shall see that good land of which I swore to give to your fathers. Except Caleb, son of Yephunneh, he shall see it, and to him and his children I give the land on which he walked, because he followed Yahuwah completely. And Yahuwah was enraged with me for your sake, saying, You do not go in there either. Yehoshua, the son of Nun, who stands before you, he shall go in there. Strengthen him, for he shall cause Israel to inherit. And your little ones and your children, who you say are for a prey, who today have no knowledge of good and evil, they are going in there. And to them I give it, and they are to possess it. But you turn and take your journey into the wilderness by the way of the Sea of Reeds. Then you answered and said to me, We have sinned against Yahuwah. We ourselves are going up, and we shall fight as Yahuwah Elohim commanded us. And when each one of you had girded on his battle gear, you were ready to go up into the mountain. And Yahuwah said to me, Say to them, Do not go up nor fight, for I am not in your midst, lest you be smitten before your enemies. So I spoke to you, but you would not listen, and rebelled against the word of Yahuwah, and acted proudly, and went up into the mountain. Then the Amorites who dwelt in that mountain came out against you, and chased you as bees do, and beat you back from Seir to Hormah. And you returned and wept before Yahuwah, but Yahuwah would not listen to your voice, nor give ear to you. So you dwelt in Kadesh many days according to the days that you dwelt. Then we turned and departed into the wilderness, the way of the Sea of Reeds, as Yahuwah spoke to me, and we went round Mount Seir many days. And Yahuwah spoke to me, saying, You have gone around this mountain long enough. Turn northward, and command the people, saying, You are about to pass over into the border of your brothers, the descendants of of Esau, who live in Seir, and they are afraid of you, so be on your guard. Do not strive with them, for I do not give you any of their land, no, not so much as one footstep, because I have given Mount Seir to Esau as a possession. What food you buy from them with silver you shall eat, and also what water you buy from them with silver you shall drink. For Yahuwah your Elohim has brought you in all the work of your hand. He has known your wandering through this great wilderness. These forty years Yahuwah your Elohim has been with you. You have not lacked any matter. And when we pass beyond our brothers, the descendants of Esau who dwell in Seir, away from the way of the desert plain, Away from Elath and Etzion Geber, we turned and passed over by the way of the wilderness of Moab. And Yahuwah said to me, Do not distress Moab, nor stir yourself up against them in battle, for I do not give you any of their land as a possession, because I have given Ar to the descendants of Lot as a possession. The Amites had dwelt there formerly, 
a people as great and numerous and as tall as the Anakim. They were also reckoned as Raphaites, like the Anakim, but the Moabites called them Amites. And the Horites formerly dwelt in Seir, but the descendants of Esau dispossessed them and destroyed them from before them, and dwelt in their place as Israel did to the land of their possession which Yahuwah gave them. Now rise up and pass over the Wadi Zered. So we pass over the Wadi Zered. And the time we took to come from Kadesh Barnea until we passed over the Wadi Zered was thirty-eight years, until all the generation of the men of battle was consumed from the midst of the camp, as Yahuwah had sworn to them. And also the hand of Yahuwah was against them to destroy them from the midst of the camp until they were consumed. And it came to be when all the men of battle had finally perished from among the people, that Yahuwah spoke to me, saying, This day you are to pass over at Ar, the boundary of Moab. And when you come near the children of Ammon, do not distress them nor stir yourself up against them, for I do not give you any of the land of the children of Ammon as a possession, because I have given it to the descendants of Lot as a possession. That was also reckoned as a land of Rephites. Rephites formerly dwelt there, but the Amorites called them Zamzumim, a people as great and numerous and as tall as the Anakim. But Yahuwah destroyed them before them, and they dispossessed them and dwelt in their place, as he had done for the descendants of Esau, who dwelt in Seir, when he destroyed the Horites from before them. They dispossessed them, and dwelt in their place, even to this day. And the Awim, who dwelt in villages as far as Azah, the Kathorim, who came from Cathar, destroyed them, and dwelt in their place. Arise, depart, and pass over the Wadi Anar. See, I have given into your hand Sihon the Amorite, sovereign of Heshbon, and his land. Begin to possess it and stir up yourself against him in battle. This day I begin to put the dread and fear of you upon the peoples under all the Shamayim, who, when they hear the report of you, shall tremble and shake because of you. Then I sent messengers from the wilderness of Kedemoth to Sihon, sovereign of Heshbon, with words of peace, saying, let me pass over through your land on the highway. I shall go on the highway and turn neither to the right nor to the left. What food you sell me for silver I shall eat, and what water you give me for silver I shall drink. Only let me pass over on foot, as the descendants of Esau, who dwelt in Seir and the Moabites, who dwell in Ar, did for me until I pass over the Ardin to the land Yahuwah our Elohim is giving us. But Sihon, sovereign of Heshbon, would not let us pass over. For Yahuwah, your Elohim, hardened his spirit and strengthened his heart to give him into your hand as it is this day. And Yahuwah said to me, See, I have begun to give Sihon and his land over to you. Begin to possess, in order to possess his land. And Sihon and all his people came out against us to fight at Yahatz. And Yahuwah Elohim gave him over to us, so we smote him and his sons and all his people. And we took all his cities at that time, and we put the men, women, and little ones of every city under the ban. We left none remaining. Only the livestock we took as plunder for ourselves, and the spoil of the cities which we captured. From Aroer, which is in on the edge of the Wadi Anon, and the city that is by the Wadi as far as Gilad, there was not one city too high for us. Yahuwah our Elohim gave all to us. Only you did not go near the land of the children of Ammon, anywhere along the Wadi Yabok, or to the cities of the mountains, or wherever Yahuwah our Elohim had commanded us. Then we turned and went up the way to Bashan, 
and Og, sovereign of Bashan, came out against us, he and all his people, to battle at Edre. And Yehua said to me, Do not fear him, for I have given him and all his people and his land into your hand. And you shall do to him as you did to Sihon, sovereign of the Amorites, who dwelt at Heshbon. So Yehua, our Elohim, also gave into our hands Og, sovereign of Bashan, with all his people, and we smote him until he had no survivors remaining. And we captured all of his cities at that time. There was not a city which we did not take from them. Sixty cities. All the district of Argob, the reign of Og in Bashan. All these cities were fenced with high walls, gates, and bars, besides a great many unwalled towns. And we put them under the ban as we did to Sihon, sovereign of Heshbon, putting the men, the women, and the children of every city under the ban. But all the livestock and the spoil of the cities we took as booty for ourselves. And at that time we took the land from the hand of the two sovereigns of the Amorites that was beyond the Ardin, from the Wadi Anon to Mount Hermon. Sidonians call Hermon, Sirion, and the Amorites call it Sinia. All the cities of the plain all Gilad, and all Bashan, as far as Salka, and Idre, cities of the reign of Og and Bashan. For only Og, sovereign of Bashan, was left of the remnant of the Raphaites. See, his bedstead was an iron bedstead. Is it not in Rabbah of the children of Ammon? Nine Amma is its length, and four Amma its width according to the Amma of a man. And this land, which we possessed at that time, from Oror, which is by the Wadi Anon, and half the mountains of Gilad and its cities, I gave to the Reubenites and the Gadites. And the rest of Gilad and all Bashan, the reign of Og, I gave to half the tribe of Manasseh, all the district of Argob, with all Bashan, called the land of the Raphaites. Yair, son of Menashe, had taken all the district of Argob as far as the border of the Geshurites and the Makathites, and called them after his own name, Habashan Hawath Yair, to this day. And to Makir, I gave Gilad. And to the Reubenites and the Gadites I gave from Gilad as far as the Wadi Anon. The middle of the Wadi is the border. As far as the Wadi Yapok and the border of the children of Ammon and the desert plain. With the Ardean as the border from Kinnereth as far as the Sea of Arab. The Salt Sea below the slopes of Pisgah on the east. And I commanded you at that time, saying, Yahuwah your Elohim has given you this land to possess. All you sons of might, pass over arm before your brothers, the children of Israel. But let your wives, and your little ones, and your livestock, I know that you have much livestock, stay in your cities, which I have given you, until Yahuwah has given rest to your brothers as to you, and they also possess the land which Yahuwah your Elohim is giving them beyond the Yardin. Then you shall return, each man to his possession which I have given you. And I commanded Yehoshua at the, at the time, saying, Your eyes have seen all that Yahuwah your Elohim has done to these two sovereigns. Yahuwah does the same to all the reigns which you are passing over. Do not fear them, for Yahuwah your Elohim himself fights for you. And I pleaded with Yahuwah at that time, saying, O Master Yahuwah, you have begun to show your servant your greatness and your strong hand. For who is a mighty one in the Shamaim or on earth who does according to your works and according to your might? I pray, let me pass over and see the good land beyond the, the Yardin, this good hill country, and Lebanon. But Yahuwah was enraged with me for your sake, and would not listen to me. And Yahuwah said to me, Enough of that! 
speak no more to me about this matter. Go up to the top of Pisgah, and lift up your eyes westward and northward and southward and eastward, and look with your eyes, for you do not pass over this Yardin. But command Yehoshua, and strengthen him, and make him brave. For he shall pass over before this people, and causes them to inherit the land which you see. And we dwelt in the valley opposite Beth Peor. And now, O Israel, listen to the laws and the right rulings which I am teaching you to do, so that you live, and shall go in and possess the land which Yahuwah your Elohim of your fathers is giving you. Do not add to the word which I command you, and do not take away from it, so as to guard the commands of Yahuwah your Elohim, which I am commanding you. Your eyes have seen what Yahuwah did at Baal Peor, for Yahuwah your Elohim has destroyed from your midst all the men who followed Baal Peor. But you who are clinging to Yahuwah your Elohim are alive today, every one of you. See, I have taught you laws and right rulings as Yahuwah my Elohim commanded me to do thus in the land which you go to possess. And you shall guard and do them, for this is your wisdom and your understanding before the eyes of the peoples who hear all these laws, and they shall say, Only a wise and understanding people is this great nation. For what nation is there which Elohim so near to it as Yahuwah our Elohim is to us whenever we call on him. And what great nation is there that has such laws and righteous right rulings, like all this Torah which I put before you this day? Only guard yourself, and guard your high diligently, lest you forget the words your eyes have seen, and lest they turn aside from your heart all the days of your life. And you shall make them known to your children and your grandchildren. The day when you stood before Yahuwah, your Elohim in Horeb, Yahuwah said to me, Assemble the people to me, and I make them hear my words, so that they learn to revere me all the days they live on the earth and teach their children. And you came near, and stood at the foot of the mountain, and the mountain burned with fire to the heart of the Shamayim, darkness and cloud, dense cloud. And Yahuwah spoke to you out of the midst of the fire. You heard a voice of words, but saw no form. You only heard a voice. And he made known to you his covenant, which he commanded you to do, the ten words, and he wrote them on two tablets of stone. And Yahuwah commanded me at that time to teach you laws and right rulings for you to do them in the land which you pass over to possess. Therefore, Diligently guard yourselves, for you saw no form when Yahuwah spoke to you at Horeb, out of the midst of the fire, lest you should do corruptly, and shall make for yourselves a carved image in the form of any figure, the likeness of male or female, the likeness of any beast that is on the earth, or the likeness of any winged bird that flies in the Shamayim, the likeness of any creature that creeps on the ground, or the likeness of any fish that is in the water under the earth. And lest you lift up your eyes to the Shamayim, and shall see the sun, and the moon, and the stars, all the hosts of the Shamayim, and you be drawn away into bowing down to them, and serving them, which Yahuwah your Elohim has allotted to all the peoples under all the Shamayim. But Yahuwah has taken you, and brought you out of the iron furnace, out of Mitzrayim, to be his people, an inheritance as it is today. And Yahuwah was enraged with me because of your words, and swore that I would not pass over the Ardeen, and that I would not enter the good land which Yahuwah your Elohim is giving you as an inheritance. For I am to die in this land, I am not passing over the Ardeen, but you are passing over, and shall possess that good land. Guard yourselves, lest you forget the covenant of Yahuwah your Elohim, which he made with you, and shall make for yourselves a carved image. In any likeness, Yahuwah your Elohim has commanded you. For Yahuwah your Elohim is a consuming fire, a jealous hell. When you bring forth children and grandchildren, and shall grow old in the land, and shall do corruptly, 
and make a carved image in any likeness, and shall do what is evil in the eyes of Yahuwah your Elohim to provoke him. I shall call the Shamayim and earth to witness against you on that day that you soon completely perish from the land which you pass over the Yardin to possess. You do not prolong your days in it, but are completely destroyed. And Yahuwah shall scatter you among the peoples, and you shall be left few in number among the Gentiles, where Yahuwah drives you. And there you shall serve mighty ones, the work of men's hands, wood and stone, neither see nor hear nor eat or smell any of them. But from there you shall seek Yahuwah your Elohim and shall find when you search for him with all your heart and with all your being. In your distress, when all these words shall come upon you in the latter days, then you shall return to Yahuwah your Elohim and shall obey his voice. For Yahuwah your Elohim is a compassionate El. He does not forsake you, nor destroy you, nor forget the covenant of your fathers, which he swore to them. For ask now of the days that are past, which were before you, since the day that Elohim created man on the earth, and ask from one end of the Shamayim to the other end of the Shamayim, whether there has been a word as great as this, or has been heard like it. Has the people heard the voice of Elohim speaking out of the midst of the fire, as you have heard, and live? Or has Elohim tried to go and take for himself a nation from the midst of of a nation by trials and signs and by wonders and by battles and by a strong hand and an outstretched arm and by great fearsome deeds according to all that Yahuwah your Elohim did for you in Mizraim before your eyes you have been shown it to know that Yahuwah himself is Elohim there is no one beside him from the Shamayim he let you hear his voice to instruct you and on earth he showed you his great fire, and you heard his words out of the midst of the fire. And because he loved your fathers, therefore he chose their seed after them, and brought you out of Mitzrayim with his presence, with his great power, to drive out from before you nations greater and stronger than you, to bring you in, to give you their land as an inheritance as it is today. And you shall know today, and shall recall to your heart, that Yahuwah himself is Elohim in the Shamayim above, and on the earth beneath there is none else. And you shall guard his laws and his commands, which I command you today, so that it is well with you, and with your children after you, and so that you prolong your days on the soil which Yahuwah your Elohim is giving you for all time. Then Moshe separated three cities beyond the Yardin, toward the rising of the sun, for him who killed someone to flee there. He who kills his neighbor unintentionally, without having hated him in past times, and might flee to one of these cities and live, Betzer in the wilderness, in the level land for the Reubenites, and Ramoth in Gilad for the Gadites, and Golan in Bashan for the Manashites. And this is the Torah which Moshe put before the children of Israel. These are the witnesses and the laws and the right rulings which Moshe spoke to the children of Israel after they came out of Mitzrayim, beyond the Yardin, in the valley opposite Beth Peor, in the land of Sihon, sovereign of the Amorites who dwelt at Heshbon, whom Moshe and the children of Israel had smitten after they came out of Mitzrayim. And they took possession of his land and the land of Og, sovereign of Bashan, two sovereigns of the Amorites, who were beyond the Yadin, toward the rising of the sun, from Erer, which is on the bank of the Wadi Arnon, even to Mount Seon, which is Hermon, and all the desert plain beyond the Yardin, as far as the Sea of Araba, below the slopes of Pisgah. And Moshe called all Israel and said to them, Hear, O Israel, the laws and right rulings which I speak in your hearing today. And you shall learn them, 
and guard to do them. Yahuwah our Elohim had made a covenant with us in Horeb. Yahuwah did not make this covenant with our fathers, but with us, those who are here today, all of us who are alive. Yahuwah spoke with you face to face on the mountain from the midst of the fire. I stood between Yahuwah and you at that time to declare to you the word of Yahuwah. For you were afraid because of the fire, and you did not go up to the mountain, saying, I am Yahuwah your Elohim, who brought you out of the land of Mitzrayim, out of the house of bondage. You have no other mighty ones against my face. You do not make for yourself a carved image, any likeness of which is in the Shamayim above, or which is in the earth beneath, or which is in the waters under the earth. You do not bow down to them nor serve them, for I, Yahuwah your Elohim, am a jealous El, visiting the wickedness of the fathers upon the children to the third and fourth generations of those who hate me, but showing kindness to thousands, to those who love me and guard my commands. You do not bring the name of Yahuwah your Elohim to naught, for Yahuwah does not leave him unpunished who brings his name to naught. Guard the Shabbat day to Kadoshim, as Yahuwah your Elohim commanded you. Six days you labor and shall do all your work, but the seventh day is a Shabbat of Yahuwah your Elohim. You do not do any work, not you, nor your son, nor your daughter, nor your male servant, nor your female servant, nor your ox, nor your donkey, nor any of your cattle, nor your stranger who is within your gates, so that your male servant and your female servant rest as you do. And you shall remember that you were a slave in the land of Misraim, and that Yahuwah your Elohim brought you out of there by a strong hand and by an outstretched arm. Therefore, Yahuwah your Elohim commanded you to perform the Shabbat day. Respect your father and your mother as Yahuwah your Elohim has commanded you, so that your days are prolonged, and so that it is well with you on the soil which Yahuwah your Elohim is giving you. You do not murder. You do not commit adultery. You do not steal. You do not bear false witness against your neighbor. You do not covet your neighbor's wife, nor do you desire your neighbor's house, his field, nor his male servant, nor his female servant, his ox, nor his donkey, or whatever belongs to your neighbor. These words Yahuwah spoke to all your assembly in the mountain from the midst of the fire of the cloud and of the dense cloud with a loud voice. And he added no more. And he wrote them on two tablets of stone and gave them to me. And it came to be, when you heard the voice from the midst of the darkness, while the mountain was burning with fire, that you came near to me, all the heads of your tribes and your elders, and said, See, Yahuwah our Elohim has shown us his esteem and his greatness, and we have heard his voice from the midst of the fire. Today we have seen that Elohim speaks with man, and he lives. And now why should we die? For this great fire is consuming us. If we hear the voice of Yahuwah our Elohim any more, then we shall die. For who is there of all flesh who has heard the voice of the living Elohim speaking from the midst of the fire, as we have, and lived? You go near and hear all that Yahuwah our Elohim says, and speak to us all that Yahuwah our Elohim says to you, and we shall hear it and do it. Yahuwah heard the voice of your words when you spoke to me. And Yahuwah said to me, I have heard the voice of the words of this people, which they have spoken to you. They have done well in all that they have spoken. Oh, that they had such a heart in them to revere me and to guard all my commands always, so that it might be well with them and with their children forever. Go, say to them, return to your tents. But you stand here by me. And let me speak to you all the commands and the law.
laws and the right rulings, which you are to teach them, and they shall do them in the land which I am giving them to possess. And you shall guard to do as Yahuwah your Elohim has commanded you. Do not turn aside to the right or to the left. Walk in all the way which Yahuwah your Elohim has commanded you, so that you live and it be well with you. And you shall prolong your days in the land which you possess. And this is the command, the laws and right rulings, which Yahuwah your Elohim has commanded to teach you to do in the land which you are passing over to possess, so that you revere Yahuwah your Elohim to guard all his laws and his commands which I command you, you and your son and your grandson, all the days of your life, and that your days be prolonged. And you shall hear, O Israel, and shall guard to do, that it might be well with you, and that you increase greatly as Yahuwah, Elohim of your fathers, has spoken to you, a land flowing with milk and honey. Hear, O Israel, Yahuwah our Elohim. Yahuwah is one. And you shall love Yahuwah your Elohim with all your heart, with all your being, with all your might. And these words which I am commanding you today shall be in your heart, and you shall impress them upon your children, and shall speak of them when you sit in your house, and when you walk by the way, and when you lie down, and when you rise up, and shall bind them as a sign on your hand, and they shall be as frontlets between your eyes. And you shall write them on the doorposts of your house, and on your gates, and it shall be, when Yahuwah your Elohim brings you into the land of which he swore to your fathers, to Abraham, to Yitzhak, and to Jacob, to give you great and good cities, which you did not build, and houses filled with all kinds of goods, which you did not fill, and wells dug, which you did not dig, vineyards and olive trees, which you did not plant, and you shall eat and be satisfied. Be on guard, lest you forget Yahuwah, who brought you out of the land of Mitzrayim from the house of bondage. Revere Yahuwah, your Elohim, and serve him, and swear by his name. Do not go after other mighty ones, the mighty ones of the peoples who are all around you. For Yahuwah your Elohim is a jealous El in your midst, lest the displeasure of Yahuwah your Elohim burn against you. Then he shall destroy you from the face of the earth. Do not try Yahuwah your Elohim as you tried him in Massa. Diligently guard the commands of Yahuwah your Elohim and his witness and his laws which he has commanded you and you should do what is right and good in the eyes of Yahuwah that it might be well with you and you shall go in and possess the good land of which Yahuwah swore to your fathers to drive out all your enemies from before you as Yahuwah has spoken when your son asks you in time to come saying what is the meaning of the witnesses and the laws and the right rulings which Yahuwah Elohim has commanded you? Then you shall say to your son, We were slaves of Pharaoh and Mitzrayim, and Yahuwah brought us out of Mitzrayim with a strong hand. And Yahuwah sent signs and wonders, great and grievous, upon Mitzrayim, upon Pharaoh, and upon all his household before our eyes. And he brought us out from there, to bring us in, to give us the land of which he swore to our fathers. And Yahuwah commanded us to do all these laws, to revere Yahuwah our Elohim, for our good always, to keep us alive as it is today. And it is righteousness for us when we guard to do all this command before Yahuwah our Elohim, as he has commanded us. When Yahuwah our Elohim brings you into the land, which you go to possess, he shall also clear away many nations before you, the Hittites and the Girgashites and the Amorites and the Canaanites and the Perizzites and the Hewites and the Yebusites, seven nations greater and mightier than you. And when Yahuwah, your Elohim, gives them over to you, you shall smite them and put them under the ban completely, make no covenant with them, and show them no favor. And do not intermarry with them, 
You do not give your daughter to his son, and you do not take his daughter for your son. For he turns your sons away from following me to serve other mighty ones. Then the displeasure of Yahuwah shall burn against you and promptly destroy you. But this is what you do to them. Break down their altars, destroy their pillars, and cut down their ashram, and burn their carved images with fire. For you are a Kadesh people to Yahuwah your Elohim. Yahuwah your Elohim has chosen you to be a people for himself, a treasured possession above all the peoples on the face of the earth. Yahuwah did not place his love on you or choose you because you were more numerous than any other people, for you were the least of all peoples. But because of Yahuwah loving you, and because of him guarding the oath which he swore to your fathers, Yahuwah has brought you out with a strong hand and redeemed you from the house of bondage, from the hand of Pharaoh, sovereign of Mitzrayim. And you shall know that Yahuwah your Elohim, he is Elohim, the trustworthy El, guarding covenant and kindness for a thousand generations with those who love him and those who guard his commands, but repairing those who hate him to their face to destroy them. He does not delay with him who hates him. He repays him to his face. And you shall guard the command and the laws and the right rulings, which I command you today to do them. And it shall be because you hear these right rulings and shall guard and do them, that Yahuwah your Elohim shall guard with you the covenant and the kindness which he swore to your fathers, and shall love you, and barak you, and increase you, shall barak the fruit of your womb, and the fruit of your land, your grain, and your new wine, and your oil, the increase of your cattle, and the offspring of your flock, in the land of which he swore to your fathers to give you. Baruch are you above all peoples. There is not going to be a barren man or a barren woman among you, or among your livestock. And Yahuwah shall turn away from you all sickness and put on you none of the evil diseases of Mitzrayim which you have known, but he shall put them on all those who hate you. And you shall consume all the peoples whom Yahuwah your Elohim is delivering over to you. Your eye shall not pardon them. And do not serve their mighty ones, for that is a snare to you. When you say in your heart, these nations are greater than I, I am unable to drive them out, do not be afraid of them. Remember well what Yahuwah your Elohim did to Pharaoh and to all Mitzrayim, the great trials which your eyes saw and the signs and the wonders, the strong hand and the outstretched arm by which Yahuwah your Elohim brought you out. Yahuwah your Elohim does so to all the peoples of whom you are afraid. And Yahuwah your Elohim also sends the hornet among them until those who are left who hide themselves from you are destroyed. Do not be afraid of them, for Yahuwah your Elohim, the great Nasamel, is in your midst. And Yahuwah your Elohim shall drive out those nations before you, little by little, you are not allowed to destroy them at once, lest the beasts of the field become too numerous for you. But Yahuwah your Elohim shall deliver them over to you and destroy them with a great destruction until they are consumed. And he shall give their sovereigns into your hand, and you shall destroy their name from under the Shamayim. No one is going to be able to stand against you until you have destroyed them. The carved images of their mighty ones you are to burn with fire. Do not cover the silver or gold that is on them, nor take it for yourselves, lest you be snared by it. For it is an abomination to Yahuwah your Elohim. And do not bring an abomination into your house, lest you be accursed like it. Utterly loathe it and utterly hate it, for it is accursed. Guard to do every command which I command you today that you might live, and shall increase, and go in, and shall possess the land of which Yahuwah swore to your fathers. And you shall remember that Yahuwah your Elohim led you all the way 
these 40 years in the wilderness to humble you, to prove you, to know what is in your heart, whether you guard his commands or not. And he humbled you, and you suffered hunger, and he fed you with manna, which you did not know, nor did your fathers know, to make you know that man does not live by bread alone, but by all that comes from the mouth of Yahuwah. Your garments did not wear out on you, nor did your foot swell these forty years. Thus you shall know in your heart that as a man disciplines his child or his son, so Yahuwah your Elohim disciplines you. Therefore you shall guard the commands of Yahuwah your Elohim to walk in his ways and to revere him. For Yahuwah your Elohim is bringing you into a good land, a land of streams of water, of fountains and springs that flow out of valleys and hills, a land of wheat and barley, of vines and fig trees and pomegranates, a land of olive oil and honey, a land in which you eat bread without scarcity, in which you do not lack at all, a land whose stones are iron and out of whose hills you dig copper, and you shall eat and be satisfied, and shall barak Yahuwah your Elohim for the good land which he has given you. Be on guard, lest you forget Yahuwah your Elohim by not guarding his commands, and his right rulings, and his laws which I command you today. Lest you eat, and shall be satisfied, and build lovely houses, and shall dwell in them, and your herds, and your flocks increase, and your silver, and your gold are increased, and all that you have is increased, that your heart then becomes lifted up, and you forget Yahuwah, your Elohim, who brought you out of the land of Mitzrayim, from the house of bondage, who led you through that great and awesome wilderness, fiery serpents and scorpions and thirst, where there was no water, who brought water for you out of the flinty rock, who fed you in the wilderness with manna, which your fathers did not know, in order to humble you and to try you, to do you good in the end. You then shall say in your heart, My power and the strength of my hand has made for me this wealth. But you shall remember you who are your Elohim, for it is He who gives you power to get wealth in order to establish His covenant, which He swore to your fathers, as it is today. And it shall be, if you by any means forget Yahuwah your Elohim, and follow other mighty ones and serve them, bow yourselves down to them, I have warned you this day that you shall certainly perish. Like the nations which Yahuwah is destroying before you, so you are to perish, because you did not obey the voice of Yahuwah your Elohim. Hear, O Israel, you are passing over the Yardin today to go in to dispossess nations greater and stronger than yourself, cities great and walled up to the Shamayim, a people great and tall, the descendants of the Anakim, who you know, and of whom you heard it said, who stands before the descendants of the Anak. And you shall know today that Yahuwah your Elohim is he who is passing over before you as a consuming fire. He destroys them and subdues them before you. So you shall dispossess them and destroy them quickly, as Yahuwah has said to you. Do not think in your heart, after Yahuwah your Elohim has driven them out before you, saying, Because of my righteousness, Yahuwah has brought me in to possess this land. But it is because of the wickedness of these nations that Yahuwah is driving them out from before you. It is not because of your righteousness or the uprightness of your heart that you go in to possess their land, but because of the wickedness of these nations that Yahuwah your Elohim drives them out from before you. In order to establish the word which Yahuwah swore to your fathers, to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob, and you shall know that Yahuwah your Elohim is not giving you this good land to possess because of your righteousness, for you are a stiff-necked people. Remember, do not forget how you provoked to wrath Yahuwah your Elohim in the wilderness, from the day that you came out of the land of Mitzrayim until you came to this place. You have been rebellious against Yahuwah. Even in Horeb, you made Yahuwah wroth, 
so that Yahuwah was enraged with you to destroy you. When I went up to the mountain to receive the tablets of stone, the tablets of the covenant which Yahuwah made with you, then I stayed on the mountain forty days and forty nights. I did not eat bread, nor did I drink water. Then Yahuwah gave me the two tablets of stone written with the finger of Elohim, and on them were all the words which Yahuwah had spoken to you on the mountain from the midst of the fire in the day of the assembly. And it came to be at the end of forty days and forty nights that Yahuwah gave me the two tablets of stone, the tablets of the covenant. Then Yahuwah said to me, Arise, go down quickly from here, for your people whom you brought out of Mitzrayim have acted corruptly. They have quickly turned aside from the way which I commanded them. They have made themselves a molded image. And Yahuwah spoke to me, saying, I have seen this people, and look, they are stiff-necked people. Leave me alone, so that I destroy them, and blot out their name from under the Shamayim, and make of you a nation stronger and greater than they. So I turned and came down from the mountain, and the mountain burned with fire, and the two tablets of the covenant were in my two hands. And I looked and saw that you had sinned against Yahuwah your Elohim, and had made for yourselves a molded calf. You had quickly turned aside from the way which Yahuwah had commanded you. And I took the two tablets and threw them out of my two hands and broke them before your eyes. I fell down before Yahuwah is at the first forty days and forty nights I did not eat bread and I did not drink water because of all your sins which you committed in doing evil in the eyes of Yahuwah to provoke him for I was afraid of the displeasure and rage with which Yahuwah was wroth with you to destroy you but Yahuwah listened to me that time once more and Yahuwah was very enraged with Ehron to destroy him. So I prayed for Ehron at that time also. And I took your sin, the calf which you had made, and burned it with fire and crushed it and ground it very small until it was as fine as dust. And I threw its dust into the stream that came down from the mountain. And at Taberah, and at Masa, and at Kibroth Ha-Ta'awa, you made Yahuwah wroth. And when Yahuwah sent you from Kadesh Barnea, saying, Go up and possess the land which I have given you, then you rebelled against the word of Yahuwah your Elohim, and you neither trusted him nor listened to his voice. You have been a rebellious people against Yahuwah from the day that I knew you. So I fell down before Yahuwah the forty days and forty nights, for I fell down because Yahuwah had said he would destroy you. And I prayed to Yahuwah and said, O oh Master Yahuwah, do not destroy your people and your inheritance, whom you have redeemed in your greatness, whom you have brought out of Mitzrayim with a strong hand. Remember your servants, Abraham, Yitzhak, and Yaakov. Do not look on the stubbornness of this people, or on their wickedness, or on their sin lest the land from which you brought us should say, Because Yahuwah was not able to bring them to the land which he promised them, and because he hated them, he has brought them out to kill them in the wilderness. And they are your people, and your inheritance, whom you brought out by your great power and by your outstretched arm. At that time Yahuwah said to me, Who for yourself two tablets of stone like the first, and come up to me on the mountain, and you shall make yourself an ark of wood. Then I write on the tablets the words that were on the first tablets, which you broke, and you shall put them in the ark. So I made an ark of acacia wood, hewed two tablets of stone like the first, and went up the mountain with the two tablets in my hand. And he wrote on the tablets, according to the first writing, the ten words, which Yahuwah had spoken to you in the mountain from the midst of the fire in the day of the assembly. Then Yahuwah gave them to me, and I turned and came down from the mountain, and put the tablets in the ark which I had made. And they are there, 
as Yahuwah commanded me. Now the children of Israel departed from the wells of Bnei Yaakan to Mothra. Aharon died there, and he was buried there. And Elazar, his son, became Kohim in his place. From there, they departed to Kudgoda, and from Kudgoda to Yodbatha, a land of rivers of water. At that time, Yahuwah separated the tribe of Levi to bear the Ark of the Covenant of Yahuwah, to stand before Yahuwah, to serve him, and to Barak in his name to this day. Therefore, Levi has no portion nor inheritance with his brothers. Yahuwah is his inheritance, and Yahuwah, your Elohim, promised him. And I stayed in the mountain for forty days and forty nights, and Yahuwah heard me at that time also, and Yahuwah chose not to destroy you. And Yahuwah said to me, Arise, go before the people to depart, and let them go in and possess the land which I swore to their fathers to give them. And now, Israel, what is Yahuwah your Elohim asking of you? But to revere Yahuwah your Elohim, to walk in all his ways, and to love him, and to serve Yahuwah your Elohim with all your heart and with all your being, to guard his commands, the commands of Yahuwah and his laws, which I command you today for your good. See, the Shamayim and the Shamayim of Shamayim belong to Yahuwah your Elohim, also the earth with all that is in it. Yahuwah delighted only in your fathers to love them, and he chose their seed after them, you above all peoples, as it is today. And you shall circumcise the foreskin of your heart, and harden your neck no more. For Yahuwah your Elohim is Elohim of mighty ones, and master of masters, the great El, mighty and awesome, who shows no partiality, nor takes a bribe. He executes right ruling for the fatherless and the widow, and loves the stranger, giving him food and a garment. And you shall love the stranger, for you were strangers in the land of Israel. Revere Yahuwah your Elohim, serve him, and cling to him, and swear by his name. He is your praise, and he is your Elohim, who has done for you these great and awesome deeds which your eyes have seen. Your fathers went down to Mitzrayim with seventy beings, and now Yahuwah your Elohim has made you as numerous as the stars of the Shamayim. And you shall love Yahuwah your Elohim and guard his charge, even his laws and his right rulings and his commands always. And you shall know today, for it is not your children who have not known and who have not seen the discipline of Yahuwah your Elohim, his greatness, his strong hand, his outstretched arm, and his signs and his works, which he had done in the midst of Mitzrayim, to Pharaoh, sovereign of Mitzrayim, and to all of his land, and that which he had done to the army of Mitzrayim, to their horses and their chariots, when he made the waters of the Sea of Reeds overflow them, as they pursued you, and how Yahuwah has destroyed them to this day, and what he had done for you in the wilderness till you came to this place, and what he had done to Dathan and Eberim, the sons of Eliab, son of Reuben, when the earth opened its mouth and swallowed them up, and their households, and their tents, and all the living creatures that were in their possession in the midst of all Israel. For yours are the eyes that saw all the great works of Yahuwah, which he did. And you shall guard every command which I command you today, so that you are strong and shall go in, and shall possess the land which you are passing over to possess, and to prolong your days in the land which Yahuwah swore to give your fathers, to them and their descendants, a land flowing with milk and honey. For the land which you are going in to possess, it is not like the land of Mitzrayim, from which you have come, which 
wherein you sowed your seed and watered it by foot as a vegetable garden. But the land which you are passing over to possess is a land of hills and valleys, which drinks water from the rain of the Shamayim, a land which Yahuwah your Elohim looks after. The eyes of Yahuwah your Elohim are always on it, from the beginning of the year to the latter end of the year. And it shall be that if you diligently obey my commands, which I command you today, to love Yahuwah your Elohim, and to serve him with all your heart and with all your being, then I shall give you the rain for your land in its season, the early rain and the latter rain, and you shall gather in your grain and your new wine and your oil, and I shall give grass in your fields for your livestock, and you shall eat and be satisfied. Guard yourselves, lest your heart be deceived, and turn aside and serve other mighty ones and bow down to them. Then the displeasure of Yahuwah shall burn against you, and he shall shut up the Shamanim, and there be no rain, and the land not give its increase, and you shall perish quickly from the good land which Yahuwah is giving you. And you shall lay up these words of mine in your heart and in your being, and shall bind them as a sign on your hand, and they shall be as frontless between your eyes. And you shall teach them to your children, speaking of them when you sit in your house, and when you walk by the way, and when you lie down, and when you rise up. And shall write them on the doorposts of your house and on your gates, so that your days and the days of your children are increased on the soil of which Yahuwah swore to your fathers to give them, as the days of the Shamayim on the earth. For if you diligently guard all these commands which I command you, to do it, to love Yahuwah your Elohim, to walk in all his ways, and to cling to him, then Yahuwah shall drive out all of these nations before you, and you shall dispossess greater and stronger nations than you. Every place on which the sole of your feet treads is yours, from the wilderness and the Lebanon, from the river, the river Perath, even to the western sea is your border. No man shall stand against you. Yahuwah your Elohim shall put the dread of you and the fear of you upon all the land where you tread, as he has spoken to you. See, I am putting before you today a barakah and a curse. The barakah, when you obey the commands of Yahuwah your Elohim, which I command you today. And the curse, if you do not obey the commands of Yahuwah your Elohim, but turn aside from the way which I command you today to go after other mighty ones which you have not known. And it shall be, when Yahuwah your Elohim has brought you into the land which you go in to possess, that you shall put the Barakah on Mount Gerizim and the curse on Mount Ebal. Are they not beyond the Yarin, following the way of the sun westward in the land of the Canaanites, who dwell in the desert plain opposite Gilgal, beside the terebinth trees of Moreh? For you are passing over the Yardin to go in to possess the land which Yahuwah your Elohim is giving you, and you shall possess it and dwell in it, and shall guard to do all the laws and right rulings which I am putting before you today. These are the laws and right rulings which you guard to do in the land which Yahuwah Elohim of your fathers is giving you to possess all the days that you live on the soil. Completely destroy all the places where the nations which you are dispossessing serve their mighty ones, on the high mountains and on the hills and under every green tree, and you shall break down their altars and destroy their pillars Burn their asherim with fire, and you shall cut down the carved images of their mighty ones, and shall destroy their name out of that place. Do not do so to Yahuwah your Elohim, but seek the place which Yahuwah your Elohim chooses, out of all of your tribes, to put his name there, for his dwelling place, and there you shall enter. And there 
you shall take your burnt offerings and your offerings and your tithes and contributions of your hand and your vowed offerings and your voluntary offerings and the first things of your herd and of your flock. And there you shall eat before Yahuwah your Elohim and shall rejoice in all that you put your hand to, you and your households, in which Yahuwah your Elohim has barak you. Do not do all that we do here today, each one, whatever is right in his own eyes, because you have not yet entered the rest and the inheritance which Yahuwah your Elohim is giving you. But you shall pass over the Yardin, and shall dwell in the land which Yahuwah your Elohim is giving you to inherit, and he shall give you rest from all your enemies round about, and you shall dwell in safety. And it shall be that unto the place which Yahuwah your Elohim chooses to make his name dwell there, there you are to bring all that I command you, your burnt offerings, and your offerings, and your tithes, and the contributions of your hand, and all your choice offerings which you vow to Yahuwah. And you shall rejoice before Yahuwah your Elohim, and you, and your sons, and your daughters, and your male servants, your female servants, the Levite who is within your gates, since he has no portion nor inheritance with you. Guard yourself, that you do not offer your burnt offerings in every place that you see, except in the place which Yahuwah chooses. In one of your tribes, there you are to offer your burnt offerings, and there you are to do all that I command you. Only whatever your being desires, you shall slaughter and eat, according to the Barakah of Yahuwah your Elohim, which he has given you. Within all your gates, the unclean and the clean do eat of it, of the gazelle and the deer alike. Only the blood you do not eat, pour it on the earth like water. You are not allowed to eat within your gates the tithe of your grain, or of your new wine, or of your oil, or of the first things of your herd, or your flock, or of any of your offerings which you vow, or of your voluntary offerings, or of the contribution of your hand. But eat them before Yahuwah your Elohim in the place which Yahuwah your Elohim chooses, you and your son and your daughter and your male servant and your female servant and the Levite who is within your gates. And you shall rejoice before Yahuwah your Elohim in all that you put your hands to. Guard yourself that you do not forsake the Levite as long as you live in your land. When Yahuwah your Elohim enlarges your border as he has promised you, and you say, Let me eat meat, because you long to eat meat, you eat as much meat as your being desires. When the place where Yahuwah your Elohim chooses to put his name is too far from you, then you shall slaughter from your herd and from your flock, which Yahuwah has given you, as I have commanded you, and you shall eat within your gates as much as your being desires. Only as a gazelle and a deer are eaten, so you're to eat of it. The unclean and the clean alike eat of it. Only be firm not to eat the blood, for the blood is the life. Do not eat the life with the meat. Do not eat it. You pour it on the earth like water. Do not eat it, that it might be well with you and your children after you, when you do what is right in the eyes of your whore. Only the Kodesh gifts which you have and your vowed offerings, you are to take up and go to the place which Yahuwah chooses, and you shall make your burnt offerings, the meat and the blood on the altar of Yahuwah your Elohim. And the blood of your offerings is poured out on the altar of Yahuwah your Elohim, and you eat the meat. Guard and obey all these words which I command you, that it might be well with you and your children after you forever. When you do what is good and right in the eyes of Yahuwah, your Elohim. When Yahuwah, your Elohim, cuts off from before you the nations which you go to dispossess, and you dispossess them and dwell in their land, guard yourself that you are not ensnared to follow them, 
after they are destroyed from before you, and that you do not inquire about their mighty ones at all, saying, How did these nations serve their mighty ones? And let me do the same too. Do not do so to Yahuwah your Elohim, for every abomination which Yahuwah hates, they have done to their mighty ones, for they even burn their sons and daughters in the fire to their mighty ones. All the words I am commanding you, guard to do it, do not add to it, nor take away from it. When there arises among you a Navi, or a dreamer of dreams, and he shall give you a sign or a wonder, and the sign or the wonder shall come true, of which he has spoken to you, saying, Let us go after other mighty ones, which you have not known, and serve them. Do not listen to the words of that Nabi or that dreamer of dreams, for Yahuwah your Elohim is trying you to know whether you love Yahuwah your Elohim with all your heart and with all your being. Walk after Yahuwah your Elohim and revere him and guard his commands and obey his voice and serve him and cling to him. And that Nabi or that dreamer of dreams is put to death. Because he has spoken apostasy against Yahuwah your Elohim, who brought you out of the land of Misraim and redeemed you from the house of bondage, to make you stray from the way in which Yahuwah your Elohim commanded you to walk, thus you shall purge the evil from your midst. When your brother, the son of your mother, or the son of your daughter, or the wife of your bosom, or your friend, who is as your own being, entices you secretly, saying, Let us go and serve other mighty ones, which you have not known, neither you or your fathers, uh, the mighty ones of the people, which are all around you, near to you, or far off from you, from one end of the earth, the other end of the earth. Do not agree with him, or listen to him, nor shall your eye pardon him, nor spare him, or even conceal him, but you shall certainly kill him. Your hand is first against him to put him to death, and afterward the hand of all the people. And you shall stone him with stones until he dies, because he sought to entice you away from Yahuwah your Elohim, who brought you out of the land of Misraim from the house of bondage. And let all Israel hear and revere, and not again do any such evil matter as this in your midst. When you hear someone in one of your cities, which Yahuwah your Elohim gives you to dwell in, saying, Some men, sons of Belial, have gone out of your midst and led the inhabitants of this city astray, saying, Let us go and serve other mighty ones which you have not known. Then you shall inquire, search out, and ask diligently, and see if the matter is true and established that this abomination was done in your midst you shall certainly smite the inhabitants of that city with the edge of the sword, putting it under the ban, and all that is in it, and its livestock, with the edge of the sword. And gather all its plunder into the middle of the street, and completely burn it with fire. And the city and its plunder together, before you who are your Elohim. And it shall be a heap forever, never to be built again. And none of that which is put under the band is to cling to your hand, so that Yahuwah turns from the fierceness of his displeasure and shall show you compassion, love, love you, and increase you, as he swore to your fathers, when you obey the voice of Yahuwah your Elohim to guard all his commands, which I command you today, to do what is right in the eyes of Yahuwah your Elohim. You are the children of Yahuwah your Elohim. Do not cut yourselves nor shave the front of your head for the dead. For you are a Kodesh people to Yahuwah your Elohim, and Yahuwah has chosen you to be a people for himself, a treasured possession above all the peoples who are on the face of the earth. And do not eat whatever is abominable. These are the living creatures which you do eat, ox, sheep, goats, deer, gazelle, roebuck, wild goat, mountain goat, antelope, mountain sheep, and every beast that has a split hoof divided in two, chewing the cud among the beasts, that is what you do eat. 
But of those chewing the cud, or those having a split hoof, completely divided, you do not eat such as these, the camel, the hare, the rabbit, for they do chew the cud, but do not have a split hoof, they are unclean for you. And the pig is unclean for you, because it has a split hoof, but does not chew the cud. You do not eat their flesh, neither do you touch their dead carcasses. These you do eat, of all that are in the waters. All that have fins and scales, you do eat. And whatever does not have fins and scales, you do not eat. It is unclean for you. Any clean bird, you do eat. But these you do not eat. The eagle and the vulture and the black vulture. Red kite, falcon, and the buzzard after their kinds. Every raven after its kind. Ostriches, night hawk, and seagull, and the hawk after their kinds. Little owl, the great owl, and the white owl, pelican, and carrion vulture, fisher owl, stork, heron after its kind, and the hoopoe, and the bat. And every creeping creature that flies is unclean for you. They are not eaten. Any clean bird you do eat. Do not eat whatever dies of itself. Give it to the stranger who is within your gates to eat it or sell it to a foreigner. For you are a Kadesh people, to Yahuwah your Elohim. Do not cook a young goat in its mother's milk. You shall tithe, without fail, all the yield of your grain that the field brings forth year by year. And you shall eat before Yahuwah your Elohim in the place where he chooses to make his name dwell, the tithe of your grain, and your new wine, and your oil, and of the firstlings of your herds and your sheep, so that you learn to revere Yahuwah your Elohim always. But when the way is too long for you, so that you are not able to bring the tithe, or when the place where Yahuwah your Elohim chooses to put his name is too far from you, when Yahuwah your Elohim is Barakayu, then you shall give it in silver, and shall take the silver in your hand, and go to the place which Yahuwah your Elohim chooses. And you shall use the silver for whatever your being desires, for cattle or sheep, for wine or strong drink, for whatever your being desires. And you shall eat it there before Yahuwah your Elohim, and you shall rejoice, you and your household. And do not forsake the Levite who is within your gates, for he has no part nor inheritance with you. At the end of every third year, you bring out all the tithe of your increase of that year and store it up within your gates. And the Levite, because he has no portion or inheritance with you, and the sojourner and the fatherless and the widow who are within your gates shall come and eat and be satisfied, so that Yahuwah your Elohim barak you in all the work of your hand which you do. At the end of every seven years, you make a release of debts, and this is the word of the release. Every creditor is to release what he has loaned to his neighbor. He does not require it of his neighbor or his brother, because it is called the release of Yahuwah. Of a foreigner, you could require it, but your hand is to release whatever is owed by your brother. Only there should be no poor among you. For Yahuwah greatly barak you in the land which Yahuwah your Elohim is giving you to possess as an inheritance. Only if you diligently obey the voice of Yahuwah your Elohim to guard, to do all these commands which I am commanding you today. For Yahuwah your Elohim shall barak you as he promised you, and you shall lend to many nations, but you shall not borrow. And you shall rule over many nations, but they do not rule over you. When there is a poor man with you, one of your brothers, within any of the gates in your land which Yahuwah your Elohim is giving you, do not harden your heart nor shut your hand from your poor brother. 
For you shall certainly open your hand to him, and certainly lend him enough for his need, whatever he needs. Be on guard, lest there be a thought of Belial in your heart, saying, The seventh year, the year of release, is near. And your eye is evil against your poor brother, and you give him nothing. And he shall cry out to you who are against you, and it shall be a sin in you. You shall certainly give to him, and your heart should not be grieved when you give to him. Because for this reason Yahuwah, your Elohim, barak you in all your works, and in all to which you put your hand. Because the poor one does not cease from the land. Therefore I am commanding you, saying, You shall certainly open your hand to your brother, to your poor, and to your needy in your land. When your brother is sold to you, an Ibri man or an Ibri woman, and shall serve you six years, then let him go free from you in the seventh year. And when you send him away free from you, let him not go away empty-handed. You shall richly supply him from your flock, and from your threshing floor, and from your winepress, with that which Yahuwah has barak you with, to give to him. And you shall remember that you were a slave in the land of Mitzrayim, and Yahuwah your Elohim redeemed you. Therefore, I am commanding you this word today. And it shall be when he says to you, I do not go away from you, because he loves you and your house, because it is good for him with you. Then you shall take an awl and thrust it through his ear to the door, and he shall be your servant forever. Do the same to your female servant. Let it not be hard in your eyes when you send him away free from you, for he has been worth a double hired servant in serving you six years. And Yahuwah your Elohim shall barak you in all that you do. Kadosh to Yahuwah your Elohim, all the firstborn males that come from your herd and your flock, do no work with the firstborn of your herd, nor shear the firstborn of your flock. You and your household are to eat it before Yahuwah your Elohim, year by year, in the place which Yahuwah chooses. But when there is any defect in it, you know, lame or blind, or has any evil defect, do not slaughter it to Yahuwah your Elohim. Eat it within your gates, the unclean and the clean alike, as the gazelle and as the deer. Only don't eat its blood. Pour it out on the ground like water instead. Guard the month of Aviv and perform the Pesach to Yahuwah your Elohim. For in the month of Aviv, Yahuwah your Elohim brought you out of Misraim by night. And you shall slaughter the Pesach to Yahuwah your Elohim from the flock and the herd in the place where Yahuwah chooses to put his name. Eat no leavened bread with it. For seven days you eat unleavened bread with it, bread of affliction, because you came out of the land of Mitzrayim in haste, so that you remember the day in which you came out of the land of Mitzrayim, all the days of your life. And no leaven should be seen with you in all your border for seven days, neither should the meat which you slaughter in the evening on the first day stay out all night until morning. You are not allowed to slaughter the Pesach within any of your gates which Yahuwah your Elohim gives you. But at the place where Yahuwah your Elohim chooses to make his name dwell, there you slaughter the Pesach in the evening, at the going down of the sun, at the appointed time you came out of Mizraim. And you shall roast and eat it in the place which Yahuwah your Elohim chooses, and in the morning you shall turn and go to your tents. Six days you eat unleavened bread, and on the seventh day there is a closing festival to Yahuwah your Elohim. You do no work. Count seven weeks for yourself. Begin to count seven weeks from the time you begin to put the sickle to the grain. And you shall perform the festival of Shavuot to Yahuwah your Elohim, according to the voluntary offering from your hand, which you give as Yahuwah your Elohim barak you. And you shall rejoice before Yahuwah your Elohim and you and your son and your daughter 
and your female servant, your male servant, and the Levite who is within your gates, and the stranger, and the fatherless, and the widow who is in your midst, at the place where Yahuwah, your Elohim, chooses to make his name dwell. And you shall remember that you were a slave in Mizraim, and you shall guard and do these laws. Perform the festival of Sukkot for seven days after the ingathering from your threshing floor and from your wine press, and you shall rejoice in your festival, you and your son and your daughter and your male servant and female servant, the Levite, the stranger, and the fatherless, and the widow who are within your gates. For seven days you shall celebrate a festival to Yahuwah your Elohim in the place which Yahuwah chooses, because Yahuwah your Elohim barak you in all your increase and in all the work of your hands, and you shall be only rejoicing. Three times a year all your males appear before Yahuwah your Elohim in the place which he chooses, at the festival of Matzoth, at the festival of Shavuot, and at the festival of Sukkot. And none should appear before Yahuwah empty-handed, each one, with the gift of his hand, according to the Barakah of Yahuwah your Elohim, which he has given you. Appoint judges and officers within all your gates, which Yahuwah your Elohim is giving you, according to your tribes, and they shall judge the people with righteous right ruling. Do not distort right ruling, do not show partiality, nor take a bribe, for a bribe blinds the eyes of the wise and twist the words of the righteous. Follow righteousness, righteousness so that you live and inherit the land which Yahuwah your Elohim is giving you. Do not plant for yourself any tree as an Asherah near the altar of Yahuwah your Elohim that you make for yourself. Do not put up a pillar which Yahuwah your Elohim hates. Do not slaughter to Yahuwah your Elohim a bull or sheep which has any blemish, any evil matter, for that is an abomination to Yahuwah your Elohim. When there is found in your midst, in any of your cities which Yahuwah your Elohim is giving you, a man or a woman who does that which is evil in the eyes of Yahuwah your Elohim, in transgressing his covenant, and has gone and served other mighty ones and bowed down to them, or to the sun, or to the moon, or to any of the hosts of the Shamayim, which I have not commanded, and has been made known to you, and you have heard, and has searched diligently, then see, if true, the matter is confirmed that such an abomination has been done in Israel, then you shall bring out to your gates that man or woman who has done this evil matter, and you shall stone to death that man or woman with stones. At the mouth of the two or three witnesses shall he that is to die be put to death. He is not put to death by the mouth of one witness. The hand of the witnesses shall be first against him to put him to death, and the hand of all the people last. So you shall purge the evil from your midst. When any matter arises which is too hard for you to judge between blood and blood, between plea and plea, or between stroke and stroke, matters of strife within your gates. Then you shall rise and go up to the place which Yahuwah your Elohim chooses and shall come to the Kohanim and the Levites and to the judge who is in those days and shall inquire. And they shall declare to you the word of right ruling. And you shall do according to the word which they declare to you from that place which Yahuwah chooses. And you shall guard to do according to all that they instruct you. Do according to the Torah in which they teach you, according to the right ruling which they say to you. You do not turn to the right or to the left from the word which they declare to you. And the man who acts arrogantly so as to not listen to the Kohen who stands to serve there before you, Yahuwah Elohim, or to the judge, that man shall die. So you shall purge the evil from Israel, and let all the people hear and revere and no longer do arrogantly. When you come to the land which Yahuwah your Elohim is giving you, and shall possess it and shall dwell in it, and you shall say, Let me appoint a sovereign over me like all the Gentiles that are around me, 
you shall certainly appoint a sovereign over you, whom you who your Elohim shall choose. Appoint a sovereign over you from among your brothers. You are not allowed to appoint a foreigner over you, who is not your brother. Only he is not to increase horses for himself, nor cause the people to return to Mizraim to increase horses. For Yahuwah has said to you, Do not return that way again. And he is not to increase wives for himself, lest his heart turn away, nor is he to greatly increase silver and gold for himself. And it shall be, when he sits on the throne of his reign, that he shall write for himself a copy of this Torah in a book from the one before the Kohenim, the Levites. Then it shall be with him, and he shall read it all the days of his life, so that he learns to revere Yahuwah his Elohim and guard all the words of this Torah and these laws to do them, so that his heart is not lifted up above his brothers, and so as not to turn aside from the command, right or left, so that he prolongs his days in his reign, he and his children in the midst of Israel. The Kohenim, the Levites, all the tribe of Levi, have no part nor inheritance with Israel. They are to eat the offerings of Yahuwah made by fire and his inheritance. But among his brothers, no inheritance. Yahuwah is his inheritance, as he has spoken to him. And this is the Kohen's right from the people those who bring an offering, whether it is bull or sheep, they shall give to the Kohen the shoulder, and the two cheeks, and the stomach, the first fruits of your grain, and your new wine, and your oil, and the first of the fleece of your sheep, you give to him. For Yahuwah your Elohim has chosen him out of all your tribes to stand to serve in the name of Yahuwah, him and his sons forever. And when the Levite comes from one of your gates, and, or from where he has sojourned among all Israel, and shall come with all the desire of his being to the place which Yahuwah chooses, then he shall serve in the name of Yahuwah his Elohim, like all his brothers the Levites, who are standing there before Yahuwah. They are to have portion for portion to eat, besides what comes from the sale of his inheritance. When you come into the land which Yahuwah your Elohim is giving you, do not learn to do according to the abominations of those Gentiles. Let no one be found among you who makes his son or his daughter pass through the fire, or one who practices divination, or a user of magic, or one who interprets omens, or a sorcerer, or one who conjures spells, or a medium, or a spiritist, or one who calls up the dead. For whoever does these are an abomination to Yahuwah. And because of these abominations, Yahuwah your Elohim drives them out from before you. Be perfect before Yahuwah your Elohim. For these nations whom you are dispossessing, listen to those using magic and to diviners. But as for you, Yahuwah your Elohim has not appointed such for you. Yahuwah your Elohim shall raise up for you a Nabi, like me, from your midst, from your brothers, and listen to him. According to all you asked of Yahuwah your Elohim and Horeb in the day of the assembly, saying, let me not hear again the voice of Yahuwah my Elohim, nor let me see the great fire anymore, lest I die. And Yahuwah said to me, What they have spoken is good. I shall raise up for them a Nabi, like you, out of the midst of their brothers, and I shall put my words in his mouth, and he shall speak to them all that I command him. And it shall be the man who does not listen to my words, which he speaks in my name, I require it of him. But the Nabi, who presumes to speak a word in my name, which I have not commanded him to speak, or who speaks in the name of other mighty ones, even that Nabi shall die. And when you say in your heart, how do we know the word which Yahuwah has not spoken? When the Nabi speaks in the name of Yahuwah and the word is not, or comes to not, 
that is the word which Yahuwah has not spoken. The Nabi has spoken it presumptuously. Do not be afraid of him. When Yahuwah your Elohim cuts off the nations whose land Yahuwah your Elohim is giving you, and you dispossess them and dwell in their cities and, and in their houses, separate three cities for yourself in the midst of your land which Yahuwah your Elohim is giving you to possess. Prepare a way for yourself, and divide into three parts the border of your land, which Yahuwah your Elohim is giving you to inherit, that anyone who killed someone shall flee there. And this is the matter of the one who killed someone who flees there and live. He who smites his neighbor unintentionally, not having hated him in the past, even he who goes to the forest with his neighbor to cut timber, and his hand swings a stroke with the axe in order to cut down a tree, but the head slips off and strikes his neighbor in the head so that he dies, let him flee to one of these cities and live, lest the revenger of blood, by whose displeasure is hot, pursue the one who killed someone and overtake him, because the way is long, and shall smite him, though he was not worthy of death, since he had not hated him before. Therefore I am commanding you, saying, Separate three cities for yourself. And if Yahuwah your Elohim enlarges your border as he swore to your fathers, and has given you the land which he promised to give to your fathers, when you guard all this command to do it, which I am commanding you today, to love Yahuwah your Elohim, and to walk in his ways all the days, then you shall add three more cities for yourself besides these three, so that innocent blood is not shed in the midst of your land, which Yahuwah your Elohim is giving you as an inheritance, or blood guilt shall be upon you. But when anyone hates his neighbor, and shall lie in wait for him, and rise against him, and smite the life from him, so that he dies, then he shall flee to one of these cities. And the elders of his city shall send and bring him from there, and give him into the hand of the revenger of blood, and he shall die. Your eyes shall not pardon him, but you shall purge the blood of the innocent from Israel, so that it might be well with you. Do not remove your neighbor's boundary, which those in the past have bound, in your inheritance, which you inherit in the land that Yahuwah your Elohim is giving you to possess. One witness does not rise up against the man concerning any wickedness or any sin that he commits. At the mouth of two witnesses, or at the mouth of three witnesses, a matter is established. When a malicious witness rises up against any man to accuse him of turning aside, then both men who have the dispute shall stand before Yahuwah, before the Kohanim, and the judges who serve in those days. And the judges shall diligently search and see if the witness is a false witness who has falsely accused his brother. Then you shall do to him as he thought to have done to his brother. Thus you shall purge the evil from your midst and let the rest hear and revere. Never again do this evil matter in your midst and let your eye not pardon life for life eye for eye, tooth for tooth, hand for hand, foot for foot, when you go out to battle against your enemies, and shall see the horses and chariots, people more numerous than you. Do not be afraid of them. For Yahuwah, your Elohim, who brought you up from the land of Mizraim, is with you. And it shall be, when you draw near to the battle, that the Kohim shall come and speak to the people, and shall say to them, Hear, O Israel, you are drawing near today to battle with your enemies. Do not let your heart faint. Do not fear or tremble or be afraid before them. For Yahuwah your Elohim is he who goes with you to fight for you against your enemies to save you. Then the officer shall speak to the people, saying, Who is the man who has built a new house and has not dedicated it? Let him go and return to his house, lest he die in the battle, and another man dedicate it. And who is the man who has planted a vineyard, and has not begun to use it? 
Let him also go and return to his house, lest he die in the battle and another man should begin to use it. And who is the man who is engaged to a woman and has not taken her? Let him go and return to his house, lest he die in the battle and another man take her. And the officer shall speak further to the people and say, Who is the man who is afraid and tender of heart? Let him go and return to his house, lest the heart of his brothers faint like his heart. And it shall be when the officers have finished speaking to the people, that they shall appoint commanders of the divisions to lead the people. When you draw near to a city to fight against it, then you shall make a call for peace to it. And it shall be that if it accepts your call for peace and shall open to you, then all the people found in it are to be your compulsory labor and serve you. But if it does not make peace with you and shall fight against you, then you shall besiege it, and Yehoiah Elohim shall give it into your hands, and you shall smite every male in it with the edge of the sword. Only the women and the little ones and the livestock and all that is in the city, all its spoil, you take as plunder for yourself, and ye shall eat the enemy's plunder, which Yahuwah your Elohim gives you. Do so to all the cities which are very far from you, which are not of the cities of these nations. Only of the cities of these peoples which Yahuwah your Elohim gives you as an inheritance, you do not keep alive any that breathe. But you shall certainly put them under the ban, the Hittite, and the Amorite, and the Canaanite, and the Perizzite, and the Hewite, and the Yebusite, as Yahuwah your Elohim has commanded you, lest they teach you to do according to all their abominations which they have done for their mighty ones, and you sin against Yahuwah your Elohim. But when you besiege a city for a long time by fighting against it to take it, you do not destroy its trees by wielding an axe against them. If you do eat of them, do not cut them down. For is the tree of the field a man to be besieged by you? Only the trees which you know are not trees for food. Those you do destroy and cut down. Do build siege works against the city that is fighting against you until it falls. When anyone is found slain lying in the field in the land which Yahuwah your Elohim is giving you to possess, and it is not known who smote him, then your elders and your judges shall go out, and they shall measure the distance from the slain man to the cities round about. And it shall be that the elders of the city that is nearest to the slain man shall take a heifer which has not been worked and which is not pulled with a yoke, the elders of that city shall bring the heifer down to a wadi flowing with water, which is neither plowed nor sown, and they shall break the heifer's neck there in the wadi. And the Kohanim, the sons of Levi, shall come near, for Yahuwah your Elohim has chosen them to serve him, and to Barak in the name of Yahuwah, and by their command, every strife and every stroke. And let all the elders of that city nearest to the slain man wash their hands over the heifer whose neck was broken in the wadi. And they shall answer and say, Our hands have not shed this blood, nor have our eyes seen it. O Yahuwah, forgive your people, Yisrael, whom you have redeemed. And do not allow innocent blood in the midst of your people, Yisrael. And the blood guilt shall be pardoned to them. Thus you purge the guilt of innocent blood from your midst when you do what is right in the eyes of Yahuwah. When you go out to fight against your enemies, and Yahuwah your Elohim shall give them into your hand, and you shall take them captive, and shall see among the captives a woman lovely of form, and shall delight in her and take her for your wife. Then you shall bring her home to your house, and she shall shave her head and trim her nails and put aside the mantle of her captivity, and shall dwell in your house, and mourn her father and her mother a month of days, 
And after that, you shall go in to her and be her husband, and she shall be your wife. And it shall be, if you are not pleased with her, then you shall let her go at her desire. But you do not sell her at all for her silver. Do not treat her harshly, since you have humbled her. When a man has two wives, one loved and the other unloved, and they have borne him children, both the loved and the unloved, and the firstborn son is of her who is unloved, then it shall be, on the day he makes his sons to inherit his possessions, he is not allowed to treat the son of the beloved wife as if he is the firstborn in the face of the son of the unloved, who is the actual firstborn. But he is to acknowledge the son of the unloved wife as the firstborn by giving him a double portion of all that he has, for he is the beginning of his strength. The right of the firstborn is his. When a man has a wayward and rebellious son, who is not listening to the voice of his father or the voice of his mother, and who, when they have disciplined him, does not listen to them, then his father and his mother shall take hold of him and bring him out to the elders of his city, to the gate of his city, and shall say to the elders of his city, This son of ours is wayward and rebellious. He is not listening to our voice. He is a glutton and a drunkard. Then all the men of the city shall stone him to death with stones. Thus you shall purge the evil from your midst, and let all Israel hear and revere. And when a man has committed a sin worthy of death, then he shall be put to death, and you shall hang him on a tree. Let his body not remain overnight on the tree, for he shall certainly bury him the same day. For he who is hanged is accursed of Elohim so that you do not defile the land which Yahuwah your Elohim is giving you as an inheritance. When you see your brother's ox or his sheep is going astray, you shall not hide yourself from them. Return them to your brother without fail. And if your brother is not near you, or if you do not know him, then you shall bring it to your own house, and it shall be with you until your brother seeks it. Then you shall return it to him. And so you do with his donkey, and so you do with his garment, and so you do with whatever your brother loses, which he has lost, and you have found. You are not allowed to hide yourself, or it. When you see your brother's donkey, or his ox fall down on the way, you shall not hide yourself from them. Help him raise them without fail. A woman does not wear that which pertains to a man, Neither does a man put on woman's garments. For whoever does this is an abomination to Yahuwah your Elohim. When you come upon a bird's nest along the way, in any tree or on the ground with young ones or eggs, with the mother sitting on the young or on the eggs, do not take the mother with the young. Let the mother go without fail and take the young for yourself, so that it might be well with you and that you have prolonged days. When you build a new house, then you shall make a parapet for your roof, so that you do not bring blood guilt on your house when one falls from it. Do not sow your vineyard with different kinds of seed, lest the yield of the seed which you have sown and the fruit of your vineyard be defiled. Do not plow with an ox and a donkey together. Do not put on a garment of different kinds of wool and linen together. Do not make tassels on the four corners of the garment with which you cover yourself. When any man takes a wife and shall go into her and shall hate her, and shall make abusive charges against her and bring an evil name on her and say, I took this woman and when I came to her I did not find her a maiden. Then the father and the mother of the young woman shall take and bring out the proof of the girl's maidenhood to the elders of the city at the gate. And the girl's father shall say to the elders, I gave my daughter to this man as wife, and he hates her. And see, he has made abusive charges against her, saying, I did not find your daughter a maiden, and yet these are the proofs of my daughter's maidenhood. 
And they shall spread the garment before the elders of the city. And the elders of the city shall take that man and punish him, and fine him one hundred pieces of silver, and give them to the father of the young woman, because he has brought an evil name on a maiden of Israel, and she is to be his wife. He is not allowed to put her away all his days. But if the matter is true, that the girl was not found a maiden, then they shall bring out the girl to the door of her father's house, and the men of, the, of her city shall stone her to death with stones, because she has done wickedness in Israel, to whore in her father's house. Thus you shall purge the evil from your midst. When a man is found lying with a woman married to a husband, then both of them shall die, both the man that lay with the woman and the woman. Thus you shall purge the evil from Israel. When a girl who is a maiden is engaged to a husband, and a man finds her in the city and lies with her, then you shall bring them both out to the gate of that city, and shall stone them to death with stones. The girl, because she did not cry out in the city, and the man, because he has humbled his neighbor's wife. Thus you shall purge the evil from your midst. But if a man finds the girl who is engaged in the field, and the man seizes her and lies with her, then only the man who lay with her shall die. But you shall do no matter to the girl. The girl has no sin worthy of death, for the matter is like a man who rises against his neighbor and kills him. For he found her in the field, and she cried out, the engaged girl, but without anyone to save her. When a man finds a girl who is a maiden, who is not engaged, and he seizes her and lies with her, and they are found out, then the man who lie with her shall give to the girl's father fifty pieces of silver, and she is to be his wife because he has humbled her. He is not allowed to put her away all his days. A man does not take his father's wife, nor uncover his father's skirt. One of wounded, mutilated, or a cut-off genitalia does not enter the assembly of Yahuwah. One of incestuous birth does not enter into the assembly of Yahuwah. Even a tenth generation of his doesn't enter. An Ammonite, Moabite, neither enter the assembly of Yahuwah. Even a tenth generation of them does not enter the assembly of Yahuwah because they did not meet you with bread and water on the way when you came out of misery. And because they hired against you Bilam, son of Beor, from Pethor of Aram, Naharaim, to curse you. But Yahuwah your Elohim refused to listen to Bilam, and Yahuwah your Elohim turned the curse into a barakah for you, because Yahuwah your Elohim loves you. Do not seek their peace nor their good all your days forever. Do not loathe an Edomite, for he is your brother. Do not loathe a Mitzrite, because you are a stranger in his land. The children of the third generation born to them do not enter the assembly of Yahuwah. And when the army goes out against your enemies, then you shall guard yourself from every evil matter. When there is any man among you who is not clean because of an omission in the night, then he shall go outside the camp. Let him not come into the midst of the camp. And it shall be toward evening that he bathes with water, and when the sun goes, let him come into the midst of the camp. And you shall have a place outside the camp, where you shall go out, and you shall have a sharp instrument among your equipment. And when you sit down outside, you shall dig with it and turn over and cover your excrement. For Yahuwah your Elohim walks in the midst of your camp to, to deliver you and give you your enemies over into your hand. Therefore your camp shall be Kadesh, so that he does not see unclean matter among you, and shall turn away from you. You do not hand over to his master the slave who has escaped from his master to you. Let him dwell with you in your midst, in the place which he chooses within one of your gates, where it is pleasing to him. Do not oppress him. None of the daughters of Israel is to be a cult prostitute nor any of the sons of Israel be a cult prostitute. Do not bring the hire of a whore 
or the pay of a dog to the house of Yahuwah, your Elohim, for any vowed offering. For both of these are an abomination to Yahuwah, your Elohim. Do not lend at interest to your brother, interest of silver, interest of food, or interest of whatever is lent at interest. To a foreigner, you lend at interest, but to your brother, you do not lend at interest, so that Yahuwah your Elohim might barak you in all that you put your hand to in the land which you are entering to possess. When you make a vow to Yahuwah your Elohim, do not delay to pay it, for Yahuwah your Elohim is certainly requiring it of you, and it shall be sin in you. But when you abstain from vowing, it is not sin in you. That which has gone from your lips, you shall guard and do. For you voluntarily vowed to Yahuwah your Elohim what you have promised with your mouth. When you come into your neighbor's vineyard, you shall eat to the satisfaction of your desire, but do not put any in a receptacle of yours. When you come into your neighbor's standing grain, you shall pluck the heads with your hand, but do not use a sickle on your neighbor's standing grain. When a man takes a wife and shall marry her, then it shall be, if she finds no favor in his eyes because he has found a matter of shamefulness in her, and he shall write her a certificate of divorce and put it in her hand and send her out of his house, and if she has left his house and went and became another man's wife, and the latter husband shall hate her and write her a certificate of divorce and put it in her hand and send her out of his house, or when the latter husband dies, who took her to be his wife, then her former husband, who sent her away, is not allowed to take her back to be his wife after she has been defiled, for that would be an abomination before Yahuwah. And do not bring sin on the land which Yahuwah your Elohim is giving you as an inheritance. When a man has taken a new wife, let him not go out into the army nor let any matter be imposed upon him. He shall be exempt one year for the sake of his home to rejoice with his wife whom he has taken. No one takes in pledge the lower or upper millstone, for he would be taking a life in pledge. When a man is found kidnapping any of his brothers of the children of Israel and treats him harshly or sells him, then that kidnapper shall die. Thus you shall purge the evil from your midst. Take heed in an outbreak of leprosy to diligently guard and do according to all that the Kohanim, the Levite, teach you. As I have commanded them, so you shall guard to do. Remember what Yahuwah your Elohim did to Miriam on the way when you came out of Mitzrayim. When you lend your brother alone, do not go into his house to get his pledge. Stand outside and let the man to whom you lend bring the pledge out to you. And if the man is poor, do not sleep with his pledge. By all means, return the pledge to him at sundown, and he shall sleep in his own garment and shall barak you. And it shall be righteousness to you before you who are your Elohim. Do not oppress a hired servant who is poor and needy of your brothers or of the strangers who is in your land within your gates. Give him his wages on the same day, and do not let the sun go down on it, for he is poor and lifts up his being to it, so, so that he does not cry out against you to Yahuwah, and it shall be sin in you. Fathers are not put to death for their children, and children are not put to death for their fathers. Each is to die of his own sin. Do not twist the right ruling of a stranger or of the fatherless, nor take the garment of a widow. But you shall remember that you were a slave in Mitzrayim, and that Yahuwah your Elohim redeemed you from there. Therefore I am commanding you to do this word. When you reap your harvest in your field, and have forgotten a sheaf in the field, don't go back to get it. Let it be for the stranger, 
for the fatherless, and for the widow, so that Yahuwah your Elohim might barak you in all the work of your hands. When you beat your olive trees, do not examine the branch behind you. Let it be for the stranger, for the fatherless, and for the widow. When you gather the grapes of your vineyard, do not glean behind you. Let it be for the stranger, for the fatherless, and for the widow. And you shall remember that you were a slave in the land of Mitzrayim. Therefore, I am commanding you to do this word. When there is a dispute between men, then they shall come into judgment, and they shall be judged. And the righteous declared righteous, and the wicked declared wicked. And it shall be, if the wicked is to be beaten, that the judge shall cause him to lie down, and be beaten in his presence with the number of blows according to his wickedness. Forty blows he gives him, but no more, lest he beat him with many more blows than these, and your brother be degraded before your eyes. Do not muzzle an ox while it is threshing. Also, when brothers dwell together, and one of them has died and has no son, the widow of the dead man shall not become a stranger's from outside. Her husband's brother goes in to her, and shall take her as his wife, and perform the duty of the husband's brother to her. And it shall be that the firstborn son, which she bears, rises up for the name of his dead brother, so that his name is not blotted out of Israel. But if the man does not desire to take his brother's wife, then let his brother's wife go up to the gate to the elders and say, My husband's brother refuses to raise up a name to his brother in Israel. He does not agree to perform the duty of my husband's brother. The elders of his city shall then call him and speak to him, and he shall stand and say, I have no desire to take her. Then his brother's wife shall come to him in the presence of the elders, and remove his sandal from his foot, and shall spit in his face, and answer and say, Thus it is done to the man who does not build up his brother's house. And in Israel his name shall be called the house of him who had his sandal removed. When men fight together, a man with another, and the wife of one shall draw near to rescue her husband from the hand of the one attacking him, and shall put her hand out and seize him by the genitals, and you shall cut off her hand, your eye does not pardon. You shall not have in your bag different weights, a heavy and a light one. You shall not have in your house different measures, a large and a small. You shall have a perfect and right weight, a perfect and right measure, so that they prolong your days on the soil which Yahuwah your Elohim is giving you. For all who do these, and all who do unrighteously, are an abomination to Yahuwah your Elohim. Remember what Amalek did to you on the way as you were coming out of Mithraim, how he met you on the way and attacked your back, all the feeble ones in your rear when you were tired and weary. And he did not revere Elohim. Therefore it shall be when Yahuwah your Elohim has given you rest from your enemies all around in the land which Yahuwah your Elohim is giving you to possess as an inheritance that you blot out the remembrance of Amalek from under the Shamayim. Do not forget. And it shall be, when you come into the land which Yahuwah your Elohim is giving you as an inheritance, and you possess it and dwell in it, that you shall take some of the first of all the fruits of the soil which you bring from your land that Yahuwah your Elohim is giving you, and shall put it in a basket go to the place where Yahuwah your Elohim chooses to make his name dwell there. And you shall come to the one who is Kohen in those days, and say to him, I shall declare today to Yahuwah your Elohim that I have come to the land which Yahuwah swore to our fathers to give us. And the Kohen shall take the basket from your hand and place it before the altar of Yahuwah your Elohim. And you shall answer and say before Yahuwah your Elohim, My father was a perishing Aramean, and he went down to Mitzrayim, and sojourned there a few men. And there he became a great nation, mighty and numerous. But 
The Mithrites did evil to us, and afflicted us, and imposed hard labor on us. Then we cried out to Yahuwah, Elohim of our fathers, and Yahuwah heard our voice, and saw our affliction, and our toil, and our oppression. And Yahuwah brought us out of Mitzrayim with a strong hand, and with an outstretched arm, with great reverence, and with signs and wonders. And he brought us to this place, and has given us this land, a land flowing with milk and honey. And now see, I have brought the first fruits of the land which you, O Yahuwah, have given me. Then you shall place it before Yahuwah your Elohim, and bow down before Yahuwah your Elohim. And shall rejoice in all the good which Yahuwah your Elohim has given to you and your house, you and the Levite and the stranger who is among you. When you have completed tithing all the tithe of your increase in the third year, which is the year of tithing, and have given it to the Levite, to the stranger, to the fatherless, and to the widow, and they have eaten within your gates and have been satisfied, then you shall say before Yahuwah your Elohim, I have put away the Kodesh portion from my house, and have also given it to the Levite, and to the stranger, and to the fatherless, and to the widow, according to all your command, which you have commanded me. I have not transgressed your commands, nor have I forgotten. I have not eaten any of it when in mourning, nor have I removed any of it for any unclean use, nor given any of it for the dead. I have obeyed the voice of Yahuwah, my Elohim. I have done according to all that you have commanded me. Look from your Kadesh dwelling place, from the Shamayim, and Barak, your people Israel, and the land which you have given us, as you swore to our fathers, a land flowing with milk and honey. Today, Yahuwah, your Elohim, is commanding you to do these laws and right rulings, and you shall guard and do them with all your heart and with all your being. You have today caused Yahuwah to proclaim to be your Elohim, and to walk in his ways and guard his laws and his commands and his right rulings and obey his voice. And Yahuwah has caused you to proclaim today to be his people, a treasured possession, as he has spoken to you, and to guard all his commands, so as to make you high above all nations, which he has made for a praise and for a name and for esteem, and for you to be a Kadesh people, to Yahuwah your Elohim as he has spoken. And Moshe, with the elders of Israel, commanded the people, saying, Guard all the commands which I am commanding you today, and it shall be on the day when you pass over the Yardin to the land which Yahuwah your Elohim is giving you that you shall put up for yourselves large stones and plaster them with plaster, and write on them all the words of this Torah, when you have passed over, so that you go into the land which Yahuwah your Elohim is giving you, a land flowing with milk and honey, as Yahuwah Elohim of your fathers has spoken to you. And it shall be, when you have passed over the Yardin, that on Mount Ebal you put up these stones, I command you today, and you shall plaster them with plaster, and build an altar to Yahuwah your Elohim there, an altar of stones. Do not use an iron tool on them. Build the altar of Yahuwah your Elohim with complete stones, and you shall offer burnt offerings on it to Yahuwah your Elohim, and shall offer peace offerings, and eat there, and rejoice before Yahuwah your Elohim. And you shall write all the words of this Torah on the stones plainly and well. And Moshe and the Kohenim, the Levites, spoke to all Israel, saying, Be silent and hear, O Israel. This day you have become the people of Yahuwah your Elohim, and you shall obey the voice of Yahuwah your Elohim, and do his commands and his laws, which I command you today. And Moshe commanded the people on that day, saying, These are to stand on Mount Gerizim, to Barak the people, when you have passed over the Yardin, Shimon, and Levi, and Yehuda, and Issachar, and Yosef, and Benjamin, and these are to stand on Mount Ebal to curse. Reuben, Gad, and Asher, and Zebulun, Dan, and Naphtali. And the Levites shall speak with a loud voice and say to all the men of Israel, 
Cursed. Cursed is the man who makes a carved or molded image, an abomination to Yahuwah, the work of the hands of the craftsmen, and puts it up in secret. And all the people shall answer and say, Amen. Cursed is he who makes light of his father or his mother, and all the people shall say, Amen. Cursed is he who moves his neighbor's boundary, and all the people shall say, Amen. Cursed is he who misleads the blind in the way, and all the people shall say, Amen. Cursed is he who twists the right ruling of the stranger, the fatherless, and widow, and all the people shall say, Amen. Cursed is he who lies with his father's wife, because he has uncovered his father's bed, and all the people shall say, Amen. Cursed is he who lies with any beast, and all the people shall say, Amen. Cursed is he who lies with his sister, the daughter of his father, or the daughter of his mother, and all the people shall say, Amen. Cursed is he who lies with his mother-in-law, and all the people shall say, Amen. Cursed is he who smites his neighbor secretly, and all the people shall say, Amen. Cursed is he who takes a bribe to slay an innocent being, and all the people shall say, Amen. Cursed is he who does not establish the words of the Torah, and all the people shall say, Amen. And it shall be, if you diligently obey the voice of Yahuwah your Elohim, to guard, to do all his commands which I command you today, that Yahuwah your Elohim shall make you high above all nations of the earth. And all these berakot shall come upon you and overtake you, if you obey the voice of Yahuwah your Elohim. Baruch you are in the city, and Baruch you are in the field. Baruch is the fruit of your body, and the fruit of your ground, and the fruit of your livestock, the increase of your cattle, and the offspring of your flocks. Baruch is your basket and your kneading bowl. Baruch are you when you come in, and Baruch are you when you go out. Yahuwah causes your enemies who rise against you to be smitten before your face. They come out against you one way and flee before you seven ways. Yahuwah commands the Barakah on you in your storehouses and in all to which you put your hand and shall barak you in the land which Yahuwah your Elohim is giving you. Yahuwah establishes you as a Kodesh people to himself as he has sworn to you if you guard the commands of Yahuwah your Elohim and walk in his ways, and all the peoples of the earth shall see that the name of Yahuwah is called upon you, and they shall be afraid of you, and Yahuwah shall make you to have plenty of what is good in the fruit of your body, in the fruit of your livestock, and in the fruit of your ground, in the land of which Yahuwah swore to your fathers to give you. Yahuwah opens to you his good treasure the Shamayim, to give the rain to your land in its season, and to Barak all the work of your hand. And you shall lend to many nations, but you do not borrow. And Yahuwah shall make you the head and not the tail, and you shall be only on top and not be beneath. If you obey the commands of Yahuwah your Elohim, which I command you today, to guard and do, and do not turn aside from any of the words which I am commanding you today, right or left, to go after other mighty ones, to serve them. And it shall be, if you do not obey the voice of Yahuwah, your Elohim, to guard, to do all his commands and his laws which I command you today, that all these curses shall come upon you and overtake you. Cursed are you in the city, and cursed are you in the field. Cursed is your basket and kneading bowl. Cursed is the fruit of your body and the fruit of your land, the increase of your cattle and the offspring of your flocks. Cursed are you when you come in and cursed are you when you go out. Yahuwah sends on you the curse, the confusion, and the rebuke in all that you put your hand to do until you are destroyed and until you perish quickly because of the evil of your doings by which you have forsaken me. Yahuwah makes the plague cling to you until he has consumed you from the land which you are going to possess. 
Yuhua smites you with wasting disease and with inflammation and with burning and with extreme heat and with the sword and with blight and with mildew and they shall pursue you until you perish. And your Shemayin, which are over your head, shall be bronze, and the earth, which is under you, as iron. Yahuwah makes the rain of your land powder and dust. From the Shemayim it comes down on you until you are destroyed. Yahuwah causes you to be defeated before your enemies. You go out one way against them, and shall flee seven ways before them. And you shall become a horror to all the rains of the earth, and your carcasses shall be food for all the birds of the Shamayim and the beasts of the earth, with no one to frighten them away. Yahuwah shall smite you with the boils of Mithraim, with tumors, with scab, with the itches from which you are unable to be healed. Yahuwah shall smite you with madness and blindness and bewilderment of heart. And you shall be groping at noon as a blind man gropes in darkness, and not prosper in your ways. And you shall be only oppressed and plundered all the days, with no one to save you. You become engaged to a wife, but another man lies with her. You build a house, but do not dwell in it. You plant a vineyard, but do not use its fruit. Your ox is slaughtered before your eyes, but you do not eat of it. Your donkey is violently taken from before you, and it is not given back to you. Your sheep are given to your enemies, with no one to save them. Your sons and your daughters are given over to another people, and your eyes look and fail for them all day long, and your hand powerless. A people whom you have not known eat the fruit of your land and all your labors, and you shall be only oppressed and crushed all the days. And you shall be maddened because of the sight which your eyes see. Yahuwah smites you in the knees and on the legs with evil boils of which you are unable to be healed, and from the sole of your foot to the top of your head. Yahuwah brings you and the sovereign whom you appoint over you to a nation which neither you nor your fathers have known, and there you shall serve other mighty ones wooden stone. Thus you shall become an astonishment, a proverb, and a mockery among all the peoples to which Yahuwah drives you. You take much seed out into the field, but gather little in, for the locust consumes it. You plant vineyards and shall labor, but you neither drink of the wine nor gather, for the worm eats it. You have olive trees in all your border. But do not anoint with oil, for your olives drop off. You bring forth sons and daughters, but they are not with you, for they go into captivity. Locusts possess all your trees and the fruit of your ground. The sojourner who is among you rises higher and higher above you, but you come down lower and lower. He lends to you, but you do not lend to him. He is the head, and you are the tail. And all these curses shall come upon you, and they shall pursue and overtake you until you are destroyed, because you did not obey the voice of Yahuwah, your Elohim, to guard his commands and his laws which he commanded you. And they shall be upon you for a sign and for a wonder, and on your seed forever, because you did not serve Yahuwah, your Elohim, with joy and gladness of heart for all the plenty. You shall serve your enemies whom Yahuwah sends against you, in hunger, and in thirst, and in nakedness, and in need of all. And he shall put a yoke of iron on your neck, until he has destroyed you. Yahuwah brings a nation against you from afar, from the ends of the earth, as swift as the eagle flies, a nation whose language you shall not understand, a fierce-looking nation, which shows no regard for the elderly, nor shows favor to the young. And they shall eat the fruit of your livestock in the fruit of your land until you are destroyed. They leave you no grain, nor new wine, nor oil, nor the increase of your cattle, or the offspring of your flocks until they have destroyed you. And they shall besiege you at all your gates. 
till your high and fenced walls in which you are trusting come down in all your land. And they shall besiege you at all your gates in all your land which Yahuwah your Elohim has given you. And you shall eat the fruit of your own body, the flesh of your sons and your daughters, whom Yahuwah your Elohim has given you in the siege and distress you, in which your enemies distress you. The man among you who is tender and who is very delicate, his eye is evil against his brother, against the wife of his bosom, and against the rest of his children whom he leaves behind, against giving any of them the flesh of his children that he eats because it is all that he has been left to have in the siege and distress with which your enemy distresses you in all your gates. The tender and the delicate woman among you, who has not tried to put the sole of her foot on the ground because of her delicateness and tenderness, her eye is evil against the husband of her bosom, and against her son, and against her daughter, and against her seed, which comes out from between her legs and her children whom she bears for she eats them in secret for lack of all in the siege and distress with which your enemy distresses you in all your gates if you do not guard to do all the words of this Torah that are written in this book to revere this esteemed and awesome name Yahuwah your Elohim then Yahuwah shall bring upon you and your descendants extraordinary plagues great and lasting plagues and grievous and lasting sicknesses and he shall bring back on you all the diseases of Mitzrayim of which you were afraid and they shall cling to you also every sickness and every plague which is not written in the book of this Torah Yahuwah brings upon you until you are destroyed and you shall be left with few men although you had become as numerous as the stars of the Shamayim because you did not obey the voice of Yahuwah your Elohim. And it shall be that as Yahuwah rejoiced over you to do you good and increase you, so Yahuwah rejoices over you to destroy you and lay you waste. And you shall be plucked from off the land which you go to possess. And Yahuwah shall scatter you among the peoples, all peoples, from one end of the earth to the other. And there you shall serve other mighty ones, which neither you nor your fathers have known, wood and stone. And among those nations you are to find no rest, nor having a resting place for the sole of your foot. But there Yahuwah shall give you a trembling heart and failing eyes and sorrow of being, and your life shall be hanging in suspense before you. And you shall fear day and night and not be certain of your life. In the morning you say, Oh, that it were evening. And at evening you say, Oh, that it were morning. Because of the fear of your heart, with which you fear, and because of the sight which your eyes see. And Yahuwah shall bring you back to Mitzrayim in ships. By a way of which I said to you, You are never to see it again. And there you shall be sold to your enemies as male and female slaves, but no one to buy. These are the words of the covenant which Yahuwah commanded Moshe to make the children of Israel in the land of Moab, besides the covenant which he made with them in Horeb. And Moshe called all Israel and said to them, You yourselves saw all that Yahuwah did before your eyes in the land of Mitzrayim, to Pharaoh and to all of his servants and to all his land. Your eyes saw the great trials, the signs, and those great wonders. But Yahuwah has not given you a heart to know, and eyes to see, and ears to hear, till this day. And I have led you forty years in the wilderness. Your garments haven't worn it out, and your sandals have not worn out on your feet. You ate no bread, drank no wine, neither strong drink, so that you might know that I am Yahuwah your Elohim. And when you came to this place, Sihon, sovereign of Heshbon, and Og, sovereign of Bashan, came out against us to battle, and we smote them, and took their land, and gave it as an inheritance to the Reubenites, and to the Gadites, and to half the tribe of Manasseh. Therefore, you shall regard the words of this covenant, and do them, 
so that you prosper in all that you do. All of you are standing today before Yahuwah, your Elohim, your leaders, your tribes, your elders, and your officers, all the men of Israel, your little ones and your wives, your sojourner who is in the midst of your camp, from the one who cuts your wood to the one who draws your water, so that you should enter into covenant with Yahuwah your Elohim and into his oath, which Yahuwah your Elohim makes with you this day, in order to establish you today as a people for himself, and he himself be your Elohim, as he has spoken to you, and as he has sworn to your fathers, Abraham, to Isaac, and Jacob, and not with you alone I am making this covenant and this oath, but with him who stands here with us today before Yahuwah our Elohim, as well as with him who is not here with us today. For you know how we dwelt in the land of Mitzrayim, and how we passed through the nations which you passed through. And you saw their abominations and their idols, wooden stone, silver, and gold, which were with them. Lest there should be any among you, a man or a woman or a clan or tribe, whose heart turns away today from Yahuwah our Elohim to go and serve the mighty ones of those nations. Lest there should be among you a root bearing bitterness or wormwood. And it shall be, when he hears the words of this curse, that he should barak himself in his heart, saying, I have peace, though I walk in the stubbornness of my heart in order to add drunkenness to thirst. Yahuwah would not forgive him, but rather the displeasure of Yahuwah and his jealousy shall burn against that man, and every curse that is written in this book shall settle on him, and Yahuwah shall blot out his name from under the Shamayim, and Yahuwah shall separate him for evil out of all the tribes of Israel, according to all the curses of the covenant that are written in this book, of the Torah. And the generation to come of your children who rise up after you, and the foreigner who comes from a far land, shall say when they see the plagues of that land and the sicknesses which Yahuwah has sent into it, all its land is sulfur, salt, and burning. It is not sown, nor does it bear, nor does any grass grow there, like the overthrow of Sedom and Amora. Adma and Seboya, which Yahuwah overthrew in his displeasure and his wrath. And all nations shall say, Why has Yahuwah done so to this land? What does the heat of this great displeasure mean? And it shall be said, Because they have forsaken the covenant of Yahuwah, Elohim of their fathers, which he made with them when he brought them out of the land of Mitzrayim, and they went and served other mighty ones and bowed themselves to them, mighty ones that they did not know and that he had not given to them. Therefore, the displeasure of Yahuwah burned against this land to bring on it every curse that is written in this book. And Yahuwah uprooted them from their land in displeasure and in wrath and in great rage and cast them into another land as it is today. The hidden belongs to Yahuwah, or the Him. But what is revealed belongs to us and to our children forever, to do all the words of this Torah. And it shall be, when all these words come upon you, the Barakah and the curse which I have put before you, and you shall bring them back to your heart among all the Gentiles where Yahuwah your Elohim drives you, and shall turn back to Yahuwah your Elohim and obey his voice according to all that I command you today with all your heart and with all your being, you and your children. Then Yahuwah, your Elohim, shall turn back your captivity and shall have compassion on you. And he shall turn back and gather you from all the peoples where Yahuwah, your Elohim, has scattered you. If any of you are driven out to the farthest parts under the Shamayim, from there Yahuwah, your Elohim, gathers you, and from there he takes you. And Yahuwah your Elohim shall bring you to the land which your fathers possessed, and you shall possess it. And he shall do good to you, and increase you more than your fathers. And Yahuwah your Elohim 
shall circumcise your heart and the heart of your seed to love Yahuwah, your Elohim, with all your heart and with all your being, so that you might live. And Yahuwah, your Elohim, should put all these curses on your enemies and on those who hate you, who persecuted you. And you shall turn back and obey the voice of Yahuwah and do all his commands, which I command you today. And Yahuwah, your Elohim, shall make you have excess in all the work of your hand, in the fruit of your body, and in the fruit of your livestock, in the fruit of your ground for good. For Yahuwah turns back to rejoice over you for good, as he rejoiced over your fathers, if you obey the voice of Yahuwah your Elohim, to guard his commands and his laws which are written in this book of the Torah, if you turn back to Yahuwah your Elohim with all your heart and with all your being. For this command, which I am commanding you today, it is not too hard for you, nor is it far off. It is not in the Shamayim to say, Who shall ascend to the Shamayim for us and bring it to us and cause us to hear it so that we do it? Nor is it beyond the sea to say, Who shall go over the sea for us and bring it to us and cause us to hear it so that we do it? For the word is very near to you, in your mouth and in your heart, to do it. See, I have put before you today high and good, and death and evil, in that I am commanding you today to love Yahuwah your Elohim, to walk in his ways, and to guard his commands and his laws and his right rulings. And you shall live and increase, and Yahuwah your Elohim shall barak you in the land which you go to possess. But if your heart turns away, and you do not obey, and shall be drawn away, and shall bow down to other mighty ones and serve them. I have declared to you today that you shall certainly perish. You shall not prolong your days in the land which you are passing over the Ardeen to enter and possess. I have called the Shamayim and the earth as witnesses today against you. I have put before you high and death, the Barakah and the curse. Therefore, you shall choose high so that you live, both you and your seed to love Yahuwah your Elohim, to obey his voice, and to cling to him. For he is your high, and the length of your days, to dwell in the land which Yahuwah swore to your fathers, Abraham, Yitzhak, and to Yaakov, to give them. And Moshe went and spoke these words to all Israel, and he said to them, I am one hundred and twenty years old today. I am no longer able to to go out and come in. And Yahuwah has said to me, You do not pass over this yardie. Yahuwah your Elohim himself is passing over before you. He shall destroy these nations from before you, and you possess them. Yehoshua himself is passing over before you, as Yahuwah has spoken. And Yahuwah shall do to them as he did to Sehon and to Og, the sovereigns of the Amorites in their land. He destroyed them. And Yahuwah shall give them over to you, and shall do to them according to all the command which I have commanded you. Be strong and courageous. Do not fear nor be afraid of them, for it is Yahuwah your Elohim who is going with you. He does not fail you nor forsake you. And Moshe called Yehoshua and said to him before the eyes of all Israel, Be strong and courageous. For you are going with this people to the land which Yahuwah has sworn to their fathers to give them, and you are to let them inherit it. And it is Yahuwah who is going before you. He himself is with you. He does not fail you nor forsake you. Do not fear nor be discouraged. And Moshe wrote this Torah and gave it to the Kohenim, the sons of Levi, who bore the Ark of the Covenant of Yahuwah, and to all the elders of Israel. And Moshe commanded them, saying, At the end of seven years, at the appointed time, the year of release at the festival of Sukkot, when all Israel comes to appear before Yahuwah your Elohim in the place which he chooses, read this Torah before all Israel in their hearing. Assemble the people, the men and the women and the little ones and the sojourner who is within your gates, so that they hear, and so that they learn to revere Yahuwah your Elohim. 
and guard to do all the words of this Torah. And their children, who have not known it, should hear and learn to revere Yahuwah, your Elohim, as long as you live in the land you are possessing over the Ardin. And Yahuwah said to Moshe, See, the days have drawn near for you to die. Call Yehoshua and present yourselves in the tent of appointment, so that I command him. And Moshe and Yehoshua went and presented themselves in the tent of appointment. And Yahuwah appeared at the tent in a column of a cloud. And the column of a cloud stood above the door of the tent. And Yahuwah said to Moshe, See, you are about to sleep with your fathers. And this people shall rise and whore after the mighty ones of the strangers of the land into the midst of which they shall enter, and forsake me and break my covenant which I have made with them. Then my displeasure shall burn against them in that day, and I shall forsake them and hide my face from them, and they shall be consumed. And many evils and distresses shall come upon them, and it shall be said in that day, Is it not because of our Elohim, not being in our midst, that these evils have come upon us? And I shall certainly hide my face in that day, because of all the evil which they have done, for they shall turn to other mighty ones. And now write down this song for yourselves, and teach it to the children of Israel. Put it in their mouths, so that this song is to me for a witness against the children of Israel. And I shall bring them to the land flowing with milk and honey, of which I swear to their fathers, and they shall eat and be satisfied and be fat. Then they shall turn to other mighty ones, and they shall serve them and scorn me and break my covenant. And it shall be, when many evils and distresses come upon them, that this song shall answer before them as a witness. For it is not to be forgotten in the mouths of their seed. For I know their thoughts which they are forming today, even before I bring them to the land of which I swore to give them. And Moshe wrote this song the same day, and taught it to the children of Israel. And he commanded Yehoshua, son of Nun, and said, Be strong and courageous, for you are to bring the children of Israel into the land of which I swore to them, and I myself am with you. And it came to be, when Moshe had completed writing the words of this Torah in a book until their completion, that Moshe commanded the Levites who bore the Ark of the Covenant of Yahuwah, saying, Take this book of the Torah, and you shall place it beside the Ark of the Covenant of Yahuwah your Elohim, and I shall be there as a witness against you. For I myself know your rebellion and your stiff neck. See, while I am still alive with you today, you have been rebellious against Yahuwah. And how much more after my death? Assemble unto me all the elders of your tribes and your officers, so that I speak these words in their hearing, and call the Shamayim and the earth to witness against them. For I know that after my death you shall do very corruptly, and turn aside from the way which I have commanded you. And evil shall come to you in the latter days, because you do what is evil in the eyes of Yahuwah, to provoke him through the work of your hands. So Moshe spoke in the hearing of all the assembly of Israel the words of this song till their completion. Give ear, O Shamayim, and let me speak, and hear, O earth, the words of my mouth. Let my instruction fall as rain, my speech drop down as dew, as fine rain on the tender plants, and as showers on the grass. For I, for I proclaim the name of Yahuwah, ascribe greatness to our Elohim, the rock, his work, is perfect, for all his ways are right ruling, an El of truth, and without unrighteousness. Righteous and straight is he. A twisted and wicked generation has corrupted itself, their blemish, not his children. Do you do this to Yahuwah, O oh foolish and unwise people? Is he not your father who brought you and bought you, who created you and established you? 
Remember the days of old. Consider the years of many generations. Ask your father, and let him show you. Your elders, and let them say to you, When the Most High gave the nations their inheritance, when he separated the sons of Adam, he established the boundaries of the peoples, according to the number of the children of Israel. For the portion of Yahuwah is his people, Yaakov, his allotted inheritance. He found him in a wilderness, and in a wasted, howling desert. He encompassed him, he made him understand. He watched over him as the apple of his eye. As an eagle stirs up its nest, flutters over its young, spreading out its wings, taking them up, bearing them on its wings, Yahuwah alone led him. And there was no strange mighty one with him. He made him ride in the heights of the earth, and he ate the fruit of the fields. And he made him to draw honey from the rock, and oil from the flinty rock, curds from the cattle, and milk of the flock, with fatness of lambs and rams, the breed of Bashan, and goats with the choicest wheat. And you drink wine, the blood of grapes, but Yeshurun grew fat and kicked. You grew fat, you grew thick. You are covered with fat. So he forsook Eloah who made him, and scorned the rock of his deliverance. They moved him to jealousy with the foreign. With abominations they provoked him. They slaughtered to demons, not Eloah. Mighty ones they did not know, new ones who came lately, which your fathers did not reverence. You neglected the rock who brought you forth, and you forgot the El who fathered you, and Yahuwah saw and despised because of the provocation of his sons and his daughters. And he said, Let me hide my face from them. Let me see what their end is, for they are a perverse generation, children in whom there is no trusting. They made me jealous by what is not El. They provoked me with their worthlessness. But I make them jealous by those who are no people. I provoke them with a foolish nation. For a fire was kindled in my wrath, and burns to the bottom Sheol, and consumes the earth and its increase, and lights on fire the foundations of mountains. I gather evils upon them. I use up my arrows upon them, wasted by scarcity of food, and consumed by heat and bitter destruction. And the teeth of beasts I send upon them, with the poison of serpents of the dust, the sword bereaves from the outside, and fear from within, both young man and maiden, nursing child with the man of gray hairs. I said, I should blow them away. I should make the remembrance of them to cease from among men. If I did not fear the enemy's taunt, lest their adversaries misunderstand, lest they say, our hand is high, and Yahuwah has not done all this, for they are a nation lost to counsel, and there is no understanding in them. If they were wise, they would understand this. They would consider their latter end. How would one chase a thousand and two put ten thousand to flight, unless their rock had sold them, and Yahuwah had given them up? For their rock is not like our rock. Even our enemies are judges. Their vine is of the vine of Sodom in the fields of Amor. Their grapes are grapes of gall. Their clusters are bitter. Their wine is the poison of serpents and the fierce venom of cobras. Is it not stored up with me, sealed up among my treasures? Vengeance is mine in repayment. At the time, their foot slips. For near is the day of their calamity, and the preparations are hastening to them. For Yahuwah rightly rules his people, and has compassion on his servants, when he sees that their power is gone. And there is no one remaining, shut up or at large. And he shall say, Where are their mighty ones, the rock in whom they sought refuge, who ate the fat of their slaughterings, and drank the wine of their drink offering. Let them arise and help you. Let it be a hiding place for you. See now that I, I am he, and there is no Elohim besides me. 
I put to death, and I make alive. I have wounded, and I heal. And from my hand no one delivers. For I lift my hand to the Shamayim, and shall say, As I live forever, if I have sharpened my flashing sword, and my hand takes on a hold of judgment, I shall return vengeance to my enemies, and repay those who hate me. I make my arrows drunk with blood, and my sword devours flesh. With the blood of the slain and the captives from the long-haired enemy chiefs, O nations, acclaim his people, for he avenges the blood of his servants and returns vengeance to his adversaries and shall pardon his land, his people. Then Moshe came with Yehoshua, son of Nun, and spoke all the words of the song in the hearing of the people. And when Moshe ended speaking all the words to all Israel, he said to them, Lay your heart on all the words with which I warn you today, so that you command your children to guard to do all the words of this Torah. For it is not a worthless word for you, because it is your high. And by this word, you prolong your days on the soil which you pass over the Ardeen to possess. And Yahuwah spoke to Moshe that same day, saying, Go up this mountain of the Abarim, Mount uh, Nebo, which is in the land of Moab, which is opposite Yerigo, and look at the land of Canaan, which I give to the children of Israel as a possession, and die on the mountain which you ascend, and be gathered to your people, as Aharon your brother died on Mount Hor, and was gathered to his people. Because you trespassed against me in the midst of the children of Israel, at the waters of Mirabah Kadesh, in the wilderness of Sin, because you did not kadosh me in the midst of the children of Israel. For you are to look at the land before you, but not enter there, into the land which I am giving to the children of Israel. And this is the Barakah with which Moshe, the man of Elohim, Barak the children of Israel before his death. And he said, Yahuwah came from Sinai and rose from Seir for them. He shone forth from Mount Paran and came with ten thousands of Kodeshim. At his right hand, a law of fire for them. Indeed, he loves the peoples. All his Kodeshim are in your hand. And they, they sat down at your feet, receiving your words. Moshe commanded us a Torah, an inheritance of the assembly of Yaakov. And he was sovereign in Yeshurun when the heads of the people were gathered, the tribes of Israel. Let Reuben live and not die, and let his men be numbered. And this of Yehuda, and he said, Hear Yehuah, the voice of Yehuda, and bring him to his people. His hands shall fight for him, and you be a help against his enemies. And of Levi, he said, Your Tumum and your Urum belong to your kind, one, whom you tried at Masa, with whom you contended at the waters of Mirabah, who said of his father and mother, I have not seen them. And he did not acknowledge his brothers or know his own children, for they have guarded your word and watched over your covenant. They teach your right rulings to Jacob and your Torah to Israel. They put incense before you and a complete burnt offering on your altar. O Yahuwah, Barak is strength, and accept the work of his hands. Strike through the loins of those who rise against him, and of those who hate him, that they rise no more. A Binyamin, he said, let the beloved of Yahuwah dwell in safety by him, shielding him all the day as he dwells between his shoulders. And of Yosef, he 
He said, Baruch of Yahuwah is his land, with the choices from the Shamayim, with the dew, and the deep lying beneath, with the choice fruits of the sun, with the choice yield of the months, with the finest of the ancient mountains, with the choices of the everlasting hills, with the choices of the earth and all that fills it, and the good pleasure of him who dwelt in the bush, let it come on the head of Yosef, and on the crown of the head of him who was separate from his brothers. His splendor is like a firstborn bull, and his horns are like the horns of the wild ox. With them he pushes the peoples to the ends of the earth, and they are the ten thousands of Ephraim, and they are the thousands of Menashe. End of Zebulun, he said. Rejoice, O Zebulun, in your going out, and Yisachar in your tents. They call peoples to the mountain. There they bring offerings of righteousness, for they draw from the riches of the seas and treasures hidden in the sand. End of Gad, he said. Baruch is he who enlarges Gad. He dwells as a lion and shall tear off the arm, also the crown. And he chose the best for himself, for there the portion of the lawgiver was hidden. And he came with the heads of the people, and the righteousness of Yahuwah he did, and his right rulings with Israel. And of Dan he said, Dan is a lion's cub that leaps from Bashan. And of Naphtali, he said, O Naphtali, satisfied with pleasure and filled with the barakah of Yahuwah, possess the west and the south. And of Asher, he said, Asher is most Baruch of sons. Let him be accepted by his brothers and dip his foot in oil. Your sandals are iron and bronze, and your strength as your days. O Yeshurun, there is none like El, riding the Shamayim to help you. And on the clouds, in his excellency, the Elohim of old is a refuge, and beneath are everlasting arms. And he drives out the enemy from before you and says, Destroy! Thus Yisrael dwells in safety, the fountain of Jacob alone, in the land of grain and new wine. His Shamayim also dropped down dew. Baruch are you, O Yisrael, who is like you, a people saved by Yahuwah, the shield of your help, and he who is the sword of your excellency. And your enemies are subdued for you, and you tread down their high places. And Moshe went up from the desert plains of Moab to Mount Nebo to the top of Pisgah, which is opposite Yeru. And Yahuwah showed him all the land of Gilad as far as Dan, and all Naphtali in the land of Ephraim and Manasseh, all the land of Yehuda as far as the western sea, and the Negev, and the plain of the valley of Yergo, and the city of palm trees, as far as Soar. And Yahuwah said to him, This is the land of which I swore to Abraham, to Yitzhak, and to Jacob, saying, To your seed I give it. I have let you look at it with your eyes, but you do not pass over there. And Moshe, the servant of Yahuwah, died there in the land of Moab, according to the word of Yahuwah. And he buried him in a valley in the land of Moab, opposite Beth Peor, and no one knows his burial place to this day. And Moshe was 120 years old when he died. His eyes were not dim, nor his freshness gone. And the children of Israel wept for Moshe in the desert plains of Moab thirty days. And the days of weeping and mourning for Moshe were completed. And Yehoshua son of Nun was filled with the spirit of wisdom, for Moshe had laid his hands on him. And 
the children of Israel listened to him, and did as Yahuwah had commanded Moshe. And since then, no Nabi has arisen in Israel like Moshe, whom Yahuwah knew face to face, for all the signs and wonders which Yahuwah sent him to do in the land of Mitzrayim, before Pharaoh, and before all the servants, and in all his land. And for all that strong hand, and all the great fearsome deeds which Moshe did before the eyes of all Israel.